Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Uh, let's continue with Calamity. Uh, and I didn't find that music mod at short notice, so we're just going to continue as is. Alright, so... which was it? Oh, the Calamity. Here we go. And we just killed Duke a couple of times. Uh, we've got pretty much every weapon from... every drop from Duke Fisher on that matters, except for the bow and the bubble gun, um, which are both the best at dealing tons of damage, so we're going to want those. I think I already put this relic down somewhere. Yeah, there it is, on the left. And do I have an, another one of these somewhere? Void of Calamity. 12% increase to all damage. I thought I stuck this somewhere. Here we go. Broken hero sword. Uh, let's empty our void bag. Probably won't be using the angel wings again since we've got fish run wings. Let's just put that away for now. Whoops. Don't need flipper potions anymore because that's what uh, Duke Fishron's wings do. Apart from being very, very fast and lots of flight time. I'll put the pet... Actually, what pet is this? I kind of like the eyeballs better. <laughs> Let's keep those. Um, but I'll stick the pet in here somewhere. I'll organize those one day. We got a summon. 71 magic damage. Or oh, summon damage, rather. Uh, where's the target dummy I just picked up? Um, what? Oh, it's on the ground. Sneaky. I didn't realize these things did damage just on sitting on top of something as well. But they also deal projectile attacks. Hey, Evil Pla. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's see. Uh, we craft this into a super dummy, put it in our hand, left click, and we have a target dummy that summons will attack. So they don't deliberately... They don't deliberately stand on top of the enemy as well. That would make them deal more damage. They don't work without line of sight, but with two of them on one target, we get a 300-something DPS. Where did, where did my target dummy go? In my hand. It, I lost it again. Undead Hunter, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sup, summoner playthrough? No, I'm just... I'm just having a look at our drops right now. Uh, Keelix, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where did the target dummy I literally just had in my hand go? The, or rather the super target dummy. Like, left click spawns one, right click removes them, right? Oh. Oh, there it is. It's from when I picked up the DPS meter. All right. So, does this pierce? Um, could you come over here, please? It does not pierce, even though it kind of looks like it should. Alright, good to know. I don't think this, uh... As much as it is a drop from Duke Fishron, I don't think the Tempest staff can really compete with, um with summons from Calamity that, be that you get before beating Duke. Let's just put those away for now. Uh, thank you very much for the bits. Just wanted West to remind Duke. everyone that the iconic and epic Christmas movie Hogfather is on Amazon Prime with ads. Oh, okay. Uh, 
I, I guess we're sponsored now. Good to see you again, West dude. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Does anyone know how I can get Terraria not to pause and cut sound whenever I click focus away from it? Cold Origin Mystery, I stopped by a few times, I think, when you're doing Factorio. I've definitely been doing a lot of Factorio. Is it me, or is audio a little muffled? Might be speakers on laptop, though. Uh, how, how's the sound for everyone else? No option in sound play in background? Nah, it, it just, it pauses the game as well. Like, if I alt-tab, you can see it's paused now. You probably just see a black screen. No, it looks like you just see the game paused. I don't particularly mind it pausing if I alt-tab, but the music is nice. Alright, let's sell these, figure out what this is. Lashes of Chaos. Watch the world burn. Oh, that's one of the spells that we got from... Uh, Calamitous, was it called? Not too excited about that one. Even as I'm playing Mage. Or, I guess we're playing a little bit of Mage ranged hybrid at the moment. Damsel, thank you for the Prime sub. Thank you so much. How you doing? Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I needed something to watch so bad. <laughs> nice. Did you get that silver armor? I think it was. Um, let's click off the... Where are they? Sharknadoes, <laughs> lol. Wait, is it launching sharks? I... Can I pause? Hang on, settings. It is! It's launching sharks. Oh, that's brilliant. 10 out of 10. I'd forgotten that. Alright. Uh, so Sharknado, Sharknado, Sharknado is in the collection. It doesn't really compete for damage with Calamity's summons, and if I'm not playing summoner specifically, I just want the most super reliable summon damage. So we're just going to go with um, uh, with the Sun thingy and a Sanguine Bat or two. I got silver chest is all so far. Silver chest. Nice chest, yeah. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There's an auto pause option according to some people's online that you can disable. Um, that's just when you. Where is it? Uh, is it under general? Here it is. Auto pause. Um, that's just whenever you. Uh, Go to inventory, it pauses the game. Um, but I don't like it because it stops me from being able to do certain things. But to each their own. Alright, what should we do now? Um, I kind of want to kill Duke Fisheron a couple more times until he drops the bow and the bubbles. But I'm a little worn out right now from what I've been doing today and I feel like I'm going to mess it up. But what's the cost of failure? A bit of money, really. And our dignity, but it's fine. Um, let's put this other boss summon away for now. We have lots of all of these other potions. I've got... Uh, what am I going to use? Razor Blade Typhoon for most of it. And then we're going to switch to the flare on for the last bit. Also got my first pylon. Nice, that's a good feeling. You know, for the longest uh, for the longest time there were no pylons. Travel was an issue. You can uh, you can get teleporters, which are a little bit of work to set up. But once you've got them, you know they will teleport you wherever on the map. But that didn't exist for a while either. And of course you only get those in hard mode. Um, then there's what? There's rail. That didn't exist for a while either. 
early early Terraria, you could definitely understand uh, people not playing on the large maps. Are you streaming it? I got frustrated streaming this game. Oh, Damsel, uh, Damsel streamed a little Terraria a while ago, but I think for now is just playing in her own time. Yeah. Uh, let's go do let's go do Duke. Why not? Because we'll die. It's fine. If I'm gonna do Duke, I'm still gonna use the um, Hallowed armor just because we get another invulnerability. We get about the same damage. All right. Is our pump working? Seems good. Uh, let's do another minion. Where is it? Where's the summoning potion? There it is. And I think we are ready. Because I didn't change anything from when I last fought Duke. Razor Blade Typhoon, go! Just gonna hold down the auto aim button until the last phase, and then we're gonna use Flare on. Oh, he's dying so much faster than I'm used to now. Let me down. There we go. Gotta remember my mana potions since I took off that item. Don't leave the ocean or he'll get very mad. Let's fall faster. I shouldn't have gone that high. Whenever I uh, step off of a surface without jumping, my brain automatically says Rocket League, I can hold onto my double jump indefinitely, but that's not like a thing in Terraria. Let's get over this side. Alright, we're nearly at the final phase. Already. And... Time for Flareon. Time to hopefully not die. He spawned on the side that I was already dodging. Okay. Okay. This is bad. 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 This is very bad. He. Oh, I dodged into him with the Shield of Cthulhu. This is really bad. Where's my Invuln? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's so close. No. No. No, please. Please. A little more. A little more. A little more. Just a little more. Yes. Oof. Can we get a weapon that makes that last phase a bit easier, please? Bow or bubbles. That's all I'm asking for. No! We got another Tempest. Okay. That was close. Yeah, the final phase always is until you're really overpowered. I only ever got as far as the B boss. Someday I'll get back to it. Uh, this playthrough, actually, I found out just how powerful bees can be against the Wall of Flesh. I said I was switching to bees as a meme, and it turned out it's just by far the most powerful easy to use and cheap way to beat the wall of flesh. All right, let's try this again. While well, we've still got most of our buffs. 
Uh, we don't have our gravity. There we go. I just have to be a bit more calm when it gets to the final stage. Watch for which side he's going to be on. Don't try to pre-dodge it. React to where he is and dodge at an angle that means he can't catch up. This is much easier to practice when he's not an actual threat. That was what I was gonna do the day before yesterday, but I ran out of time. Setting up a journey world. Away we go. Oh, that was a bit silly. Luckily, I caught him sitting still. Oh. It's pretty easy to kite him until you have to turn around. Doubly so in the... F no, triple, quadruply so in the final phase. Alright, I think at like 13% or thereabouts, he switches over, so let's get up into almost space. Here it comes, flare on time. Ooh. Okay, we've lost both of our invulnerabilities, not great. Ow, ow, get off me, get off me. Oh my god, oh no. Usually if we're going to take one hit, we're going to take two or three. That's the thing. We can make take maybe five before we're dead. Okay, okay, okay. Almost there. Nope, wrong side. Oh, too close again. Give me that health back. Give it... Give, give me all of it, please. Thank you. Now, give me a weapon that makes that last phase easier. That is... That is a Calamity weapon, so I don't know if that is or isn't what we want. 138 rogue damage. Throws a Hydro Axe which shreds enemies when it comes into contact with them. The faster it's spinning, the more times it hits. Before disappearing, stealth strikes make it emit short-range bubbles. Very slow, as opposed to 118 average. And I think this is... It sounds like this is worse than Flareon, but let's give it a look. Oh. Okay. Maybe? I... I mean, we can spam it in the general direction of where he's going to be. It might be a little harder to hit, but... Eek. What is rogue damage? Um, Calamity adds uh, another class, which is rogue. It's kind of like throwing things, and I guess it's supposed to be sneaky. You have a stealth meter that... Uh, that once it's full, your next attack is going to be bigger and better. So I imagine it's not going to be that good against bosses, but maybe it's got some potions that replenish stealth or something. I haven't really looked at it that much. Let's try this weapon. See what kind of damage we get. Okay, I think... Uh, it might be good. Maybe. I definitely want the flare as something I can switch back to if it comes to that. Alright. So what's this? The third run and I'm still just waiting for the bow or the bubbles. Okay. 
If I do more of a zigzag, we can make the most of one lap a bit more, but we're more likely to run into those Sharknadoes. A bit better to do this during the day because the color of the sky changes when we're running out of sky. Part's almost over. I think I can just fall through space. There we go. Suborbital trajectory go. I mean, I guess technically. Well, no, never mind. I need to play Kerbal Space Program again. Alright, let's try this weapon. That's the wrong one. Let's try this weapon. Oh crap, that's bad. Oh, that was lucky. Okay. Dodge the opposite way, bad timing. The trouble is the dodge is... We commit to it. And then we're stuck with it for a moment. Dodge again. Is this working? How much damage am I doing? Nowhere near enough. Let's use Flare on. Ow. Now I've lost my... Oh crap. Oh crap. That's bad. Oh no. Oh no. I'm getting better at the dodge pattern though. It's still hard to swap. To... Oh crap. Where's our potion? Oh no. Okay. Last chance. We're so close. We're so close. Yes. Again, 29 health, no problem, it's fine, it went according to plan, it's, it's fine. Is this the time that we get the bow or the bubbles? It is not the time that we get the bow or the bubbles. Okay. Not even close. <laughs> Morpheus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Good morning to you also. Good afternoon, Subhan. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Uh, you know what? I don't even feel the need to wait till I get to full health. The first phase is just... that much easier than the rest of it. Especially when we have Razor Blade. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer, but we hardly ever take a single hit in the first phase with this gear. And we've almost regenerated to full already. And we've got two invulnerabilities. go under him. Didn't get the mana, po uh, mana star, unfortunately. Oh, crap. There goes one of our invulns. I don't suppose Calamity has uh, another item that gives an invulnerability other than dodge. Because... Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I kind of hate how there's sort of no... And for certain kinds of boss fights where they deal a lot of damage in one hit, there's really no choice except for the hallowed, uh, hallowed armor for a really long time. Until you get a set that lets you deal way, 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 way more damage. Yeah, of course, it's not the strictly optimal choice for bosses that will usually kill you with a death of a thousand cuts. 
but Duke Fish Run is the opposite of that. Up we go. Uh-oh. Uh, give me back my gravity. Oh no. Okay. 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 All right. Yikes. Can we go this way now? Thank you. I'm gonna hit that. Oh no. Let me up. No, no, no. Don't spawn behind me. That's, that's rude. That's, that's uncalled for. How dare you? One more. No, 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 not that way. Okay, 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 okay. Please die. Hurry up. Please hurry up and die again. Why is it so close every single time? Please give me the bow. Yes! We did it! We got there eventually. That was the closest so far. I think it's a bit... I mean, it, every single... I think every single one of them has been one hit. Not even close. <laughs> Zayla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That is pretty quiet. What's quiet? Is Terraria quiet? I did turn it down a while ago. Mostly because some people didn't like the sound of the Razorblade Typhoon constantly. Just that time you still had 3%. You were one hit? Yeah. The overconfidence, really. Well, we got the bow. Did we get the bubbles as well? <gasps> we got the bubbles as well! Yes, please. We got the two DPS items we were looking for, finally, in the same drop. Alright. Give me an Unreal Tsunami. And that'll go where the Mega Shark used to be. And the bubbles are gonna go in slot one. This is where I like to put a sword or something that has lots of coverage at short range. Uh, and it also happens to deal tons of damage. So, DPS meter time. Let's sell these extra things. I'll put this away, I guess. We don't need an infinite number of shrimpy truffles. Or fish run relics. Um, I'll definitely put the flare on here. And let's do a DPS test with regular arrows. Where did I put the ammo thingy? Here it is. Endless quiver. And we're not using any bullets at the moment, so I'll put that there. Uh, I'll definitely be wanting a bunch of cursed arrows for when we're serious. Or maybe, uh, not holy arrows. What, what's the, what's that set of arrows that people use to delete the destroyer in like 10 seconds? Anyway, let's do a little DPS test here, shall we? Casual 6,000 DPS with the bubble gun. Holy arrows? Yeah, I think that's it. They're a little bit expensive, like the effort you have to go to to farm them. And we only get two and a half thousand. Wait, does this deal... In Calamity, ranged weapons deal extra damage at point blank, or at least most of them do. Guns and bows and stuff. So this can... Can deal like 3k damage with normal arrows. Are we are we still on any damage potions or anything right now? They didn't just wear off a second ago, did they? We we probably do. But whatever. 
about 3k damage per second from the bow with regular arrows. Um, most of the time we're not going to be getting the full damage from the bubbles, but they can definitely surpass that. This is ideal for finishing off Duke. Just spray the area where he's going to be. Unholy? Uh, I think we can buy Unholy. Actually, I should check. Maybe since we killed Duke, some NPCs will sell something new. Although I suspect Duke is... Because Duke is an optional boss, uh, he might not be part of the... Like, the list of bosses where the... Oh, here we go. What are you selling? Uh, I was going to say he might not be a boss that causes new uh, NPCs to sell new things. But apparently he is. Throws an abyssal hatchet that inflicts armor crunch and marked for death to the enemies it hits. Stealth strikes cause the hatchet to be thrown faster and trail water, inflicting crush depth in addition to the other debuffs. So this thing can deal three debuffs. I think I will try, like, a rogue playthrough next time. Force myself to do that. By themselves... Like, I like to do a kind of mixed class a lot of the time, so by themselves it doesn't interest me that much. They don't look like they work that well. I, I mean, a lot of the weapons really don't work that well without an armor set for rogue. Um, I should probably make... I can't remember if I have a shotgun. Boomstick turns into... These are both Calamity mod things. Shotgun... Onyx Blaster is a material. Do we have Dark Shards? We need 10 souls. I definitely want to see where that goes. I also want to bully uh, some of the corruption enemies here. Uh, how about some vision? There we go. Oh, as is light. Let's get some shine potions. Oh, that's not a whole lot of shine potions. Let's just buy some shine potions. This is only going to get easier to just buy these things as opposed to any farming. Endurance. Uh, I, we've already... We've still got 200 iron skins. I should probably have similar numbers of the potions that I just always carry, right? Anyway, uh, I want to bully the corruption... Ooh! Enchanted Nightcrawlers. Well, this this is incentivizing me to hang around town, but I don't want to do it for too long. It's not that big of a deal getting good bait without picking up stars as well as... It's really just a worm plus a star. I guess it's not that special. Anyway, um, I'm looking for... First Flame. And I'm looking for Dark Shards. I don't know if I have many yet. We got a nice mixed biome here now. The Shadow Flame is my favorite. Second is Onyx Blaster. Do you mean the knife? The knife is incredibly good for something you can get so early and so easily in hard mode. You do need a little bit of luck to get it though. Let's bully this boss. I was actually looking for this because it drops a ton of cursed flame. Where... how much cursed flame did it drop? Zero? Oh, or is it in the goodie bag? I think it's in the goodie bag. 25 Cursed Flame, that's quite good. Each Cursed Flame gives us... 100 
50 cursed arrows. So if I can delete that boss 5 or 10 times, we'll have a stack of cursed arrows that won't run out for a very long time. I should probably... I meant to check all of the NPCs uh, to see what they're selling as well, because... Who knows, maybe they're selling cursed arrows at this point that I'm not aware of. Shadow Flame Knife from the Goblin Invasion. Yes, it is incredibly good, especially for something you can get that early. As soon as, as, soon as Heart Mode hits, the Goblin Invasion is the same except for the occasional Goblin Summoner. Uh, and they drop some good stuff. Let's try this DPS thing. Oh yeah, that's working pretty well. That's a little bit faster than Razor Blade Typhoon. Just a tad. Razor Blade's great for just super easy to use and chasing after enemies and stuff. I could also use the bow. I kind of forgot that Razor Blade doesn't speed up like the, uh, what is it called? The bow that you get just before the Moon Lord? I've gone and wrecked my inventory here. Just show me how much Cursed Flame I've got. 53. Fantastic. Dang, he got deleted. Yep. Uh, I think you're supposed to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like a late-ish pre-hard mode boss that I just killed. And most people wouldn't fight Duke Fisher on so early in hard mode, so we we are way ahead of the curve right now. Or at least some of it. Mummy pants. Get out of here. Oh. Oh, they drop essence now. Oh, what is this? Amadeus Spark. Oh, I remember this. This isn't special, actually. I'll take the sandstorm, though. There might be a couple of drops we need from this. Give me that Cursed Flame. Fantastic. It's only four, though. Maybe I should stand in the middle of the desert and we could possibly, because of the way I've engineered these biomes, get... Ow! Uh, get... Both Corruption and Hallowed. Yeah, there we go. Crystal Thresher? And Bone Thresher. Perfect. I'm still wearing the Hallowed set. Whatever, it's fine. At some point, I would like to get to the stage where I can consistently beat Duke with the Crystal Assassin armor that you get from Queen Slime. So we could do Duke pre-mech bosses. I just have to get that uh, final phase down to the point where I hardly ever make a mistake. That's one of the things we're looking for here. Double time. Oh wow, that's fast. I also have corruption. It's kind of pretty. I like it. Nice. My sister actually commented that the crimson, as opposed to the corruption, she hates the look of it, the aesthetic and the flesh and everything. And the corruption is, by comparison, very nice. 
I've always preferred the corruption. Um, I think it, it, this might be partly because I'm just used to the corruption before hard mode, but uh, I find it easier. The I uh, the brain of what is it? Brain of Cthulhu is. Uh, I don't know to what extent it's just because I'm not used to fighting it, but it was I think much harder than. Uh, the Eater of Worlds, assuming you know what you're doing. Probably if you're less prepared, you might theoretically have a worse chance against Eater of Worlds, I guess. I should probably take a Battle Potion if I'm going to hang out here. Actually, we're so strong right now, I should... I should get one of those, uh, I don't remember what they're called, but it it says it gives, like, a rage buff or something. It's like super duper battle potion. Magic weapon proficiency up. Fantastic. Ow. Did we get any dark shards while we're here? I think I didn't get a single one, actually. Let's try the bow. Oh, we're, we're wearing the magic gear right now, so that's not going to be as good as it normally would be. But we do get comparable damage uh, to the bubbles without being close. The bubble gun is actually incredibly mana cheap as well. Look at this. Three mana. That's with the mythical prefix, but still. Every, what is it, three bubbles I throw out? So that's one mana per bubble, approximately. Looks like sometimes we get more? Or was that because I clicked it for longer? Yeah, I think it's one mana per bubble. So what, what does that work out to? 163 damage per mana, and we've got 320 mana. Right now. Uh, and that's without... That's without consuming a magic power potion, which gives us another 20% on top of our base damage. We did get one dark shard, is that all we need? We need two. Do I already have some dark shards, I wonder? Let's go check since the spawn rate's going to be a lot lower here now. This poor thing is just getting flung to the ends of the earth by the Sanguine Bat. Poor enemies. Let's do one more of these bosses. I'm just going to stand on it. Oh, no, I'm not. Not that much. I thought maybe, uh, since we've got, like, two invulnerability hits and we deal so much damage, I could literally just delete it by standing there, but we're not quite that overpowered yet against this boss. Alright. That'll probably be a decent supply of Cursed Flame, though. Um, let's go ahead and harvest these Daybloom as well. What's this? Blighted Gel? Shouldn't that be in the potion ingredients now that I think about it? Sell this stuff. Um, I might put this back in the piggy bank next to the summoning potion. Give me the crystal armor because it's more funsies. And more ranged damage. Uh, put away the boss fight potions for now. What is this? Oh, right, I was using that for slot three. I don't think I really need the Oath Sword anymore. I was just using that to get around. But since I've got Fishron's Wings, let's see. We're standing at 224. I think I tried it at exactly sea level before, but 
if I literally just hold space, we get to 733 height. It's like more than halfway to space. Do you have other mods besides Calamity? Uh, I've got... what is it called? Um, boss Log? Or Boss Checklist, I think it's called. I've got... Uh, this thing that's kind of like having the guide with you at all times. And there was one other one, I think. A quality of life thing. Or maybe I'm forgetting. I did start with, uh... With a mod that increased stack size, but it did something weird. So I couldn't right-click to swap things in and out. So I turned that one off. Besides which, Calamity gives you some very generous stack sizes. The health bar thing? Yeah, the boss health bar. Um, that's not Calamity, that's... Uh, I think it's just called Better Boss Health Bar. Hmm. I don't really have a slot for this unless I want to... I'm never going to remember I have this. I probably... I don't know. We'll try... Try to remember we have it. Might get that boss checklist. Yeah, it's good. You can, uh, like I'm doing... Um... Oh, it's actually showing us all of these. I think this is because I killed Duke Fisheron. <laughs> um... But when you first start the game, when you've got the boss checklist, it'll ask you if you want to play blind, and it'll, like, restrict information to an extent until you've beaten the boss. Um, but, but it will give you the information on, like, how to get the boss to spawn and stuff. Alright, let's clean out our inventory. Um, I wanted to make... Oh, yeah, yeah. Do we have Dark Shard? We have exactly the bare minimum number of Dark Shards to make this happen. And we probably need some Souls of Night. We've only got seven. Uh, where's that shotgun? Boomstick, was it? No, shotgun. Onyx Blaster. We need ten Souls of Night. I'll put the shotgun in here with the Dark Shards for now, and the Souls of Night. Rotten Brain, lovely. Oh, you can swap these in case you don't have the Corruption or the Crimson, I guess. 10% increased damage when you're low on health. Oh, this turns into the Amalgamated Brain, which I already have. Oh, I'll still keep a spare. We got monster meat from Don't Starve. Summons a pigman. Lovely. I'm glad... I'm glad I have that. Let's put this in here, I guess. Need to reorganize this stuff a bit. Rot ball. What? Stealth strike spawn, rain clouds on enemy hits, consumable, 37. I can pick it up again. Huh, that's different. For a thrown weapon. Uh, I don't need any of these right now. Let's sell this. I should probably hold on to the corrupt seeds. Eater of Souls banner, I don't think so. Boomstick will go in... One of the ranged chests. A cool band name. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Subhan, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. And that's two for today. Very, very much appreciated. Daybloom seeds go in here. Pet things go here somewhere. Uh, I guess we don't need to kill Duke Fishron anymore unless we want to like farm him for money. I don't think 
that's the best way to get the money, anyway. Do I have this already? I do not. We don't really need Eater of Souls banners, we can delete them in one hit. And, uh, didn't I have a hammer here? To show that this was the, like, forging area? Uh, well then. How about... oh, that's a lot of stuff. I did have a Pwn Hammer here, but I guess we'll make it a Platinum Hammer. There we go. Now then, we want Souls of Night so that we can see what that Onyx Blaster turns into. What the heck was that? What? Corrupted Kong... What? Wait, where did my thing that I was holding go just now? Was it consumable? It wasn't consumable, was it? What the... what? What is this? Is this a pet? Mini mind, it knows everything. How did you mount chests? Uh, it's just platforms, so... You can make wooden platforms, or if you grab yourself... So that's distracting. Get out of here. Uh, if you make some stone bricks... Grey brick. I think it's just made out of stone. Take it to a furnace. One grey brick will make two uh, stone platforms. And you can put it on top of that. Can't see them, but nice. Looks like a pet. Yeah, a very weird pet. Um, dank stuff. Summons a dank creeper. I think the Calamity devs have been consuming too many memes. Shade, shade Rain Staff. Oh, that's one of these. Okay. I'm not that keen on these ones. Um, let's stack that away. How much uh, Shadow Flame do we have now? 113. Beautiful. Let's grab some arrows. Talk to our shopkeep. Give me all the arrows, please. I think I actually have a bunch of these already, but whatever. Eh, whoops. And we want... First arrow. And that is actually a stack. Fantastic. Very easy to make, and one of the best arrows we can get at this stage. Oh, I almost forgot. While it's daytime... Uh, I was gonna use the Staff of Regrowth to harvest all of these Daybloom. The Staff of Regrowth, it, it's impossible to accidentally uh, pick up plants that are not ready, that are not blooming. So if I plant these Daybloom seeds and whip out the Staff of Regrowth, uh, well, I guess if I pointed it directly... Huh. That's different. Wait, what is that? Oh, Wolfram. We've got some pots here. I think it's if they're in pots. Yeah, it won't pick them up. Uh, it, it won't harvest them prematurely if they're in pots, but I guess if they're on the grass, they're fair game. Okay, then. Let's go plant some Daybloom. It doesn't take a whole lot of work to have practically infinite Daybloom, but I did let it run out before. Traveling merchant has departed. Whoops. 
didn't even see that he was here. I actually have too many seeds to plant. Let's just put these away. Put away the DPS meter. And what's this? I think we already had one of those. Um, that'll go in the summoner accessory chest. Stuff of regrowth back here. What is that? Rotting eyeball? Oh, is that another pet? Yeah, that's that pet. Okay. And sell the millionth copy of this thing. I think we ran out of day bloom. Again, that's why we couldn't make shine potions. Although, I did go and buy 200 of them, so we're probably fine for now. And... Swiftness... That sound... <laughs> making me think that we're under attack by a boss. Did we run out of Blink Root? I think we did. Blink Root is... Used to be one of the easiest things to farm. Now it's one of the biggest pain... Probably the biggest pain in the butt to get going. But once you have a big enough farm, you just do this, because the way they're randomly blooming, there's always some blink root blooming. So it actually makes it easy in the long run. And here's our reminder to harvest our... Uh, our chlorophyte, if we're caring about that right now. Alright, so Blink Root clearly did run out of that. What was I making? Swiftness potions. Don't tell me we just ran out of Cactus. Bruv. You must be zoomed out way further than I go. Your chests look tiny. This is as far out as you can go. I think it depends on... Is this the highest resolution we can pick? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. I usually like to have it zoomed out. Most of the time. Why is the knockback on the bat so high? It's crazy. I'm pretty sure it's not like that in vanilla. <laughs> Look at that! The sanguine bat I'm not wearing any summoner gear, to be clear. Nothing... I'm, I'm pretty sure there's nothing here that says minions have higher knockback. And the... the sanguine bat hits harder than the slap hand. Why is it like this? Alright, give me some... oh. Oh, can I put the pickaxe behind the molten hammock so that this is a light source when I shift click? Yeah, there we go. Ow. What the? Look at him go. Anyway, uh, that's what, 136 cactus? It's a start. Give me swiftness potions again. I might end up just always buying these. Even with a decent sized farm, it's still so much less effort just to spend money. Okay, that... Go, go away, mini mind. And go away, dark creeper. Let's go... I don't know what we're doing next, actually. Supersonic Bat, right? I've been watching blacksmithing stuff for years, and it still pisses me off when people do... Bold Forging. Uh, okay. And stack those away somewhere. There we go. What's next on our boss checklist? I thought I did the acid rain.
Did I not do this? Or did it end because nighttime came or something? That's probably it. Because I remember I triggered it at 7.29 and it instantly stopped. So maybe the first time I did it, it just happened to end up being nighttime. Let's delete the pirates for a warm up. Well, I guess we did fish run for a warm up. What else are we doing? The eclipse? We we just have to wait for the eclipse. Unless we get into the temple first. Uh, I guess Plantera's next. Plantera scares me, honestly. Even with our early fish run gear, the challenge is that we're not making an arena. So we need we pretty much need to search the entire jungle for the best place to fight Plantera. Because we need to be able to run away from her for long enough. That's a pretty decent sized open area as well though. That'll help. Uh, I've seen what a certain speedrunner does. He, he lit literally makes like a elevator, A very wide elevator all the way through the jungle. And just stays out of range of Plantera the entire time and hits him with a uh, tsunami. But if we're not tearing apart the underground jungle, if we're leaving it basically intact, Plantera is probably one of the worst bosses that you could have randomly appear when you, you know, don't know what to expect. We're already a quarter of the way through the pirate invasion. Yeah, that works. Ow. Ow. Got it. Explosive arrows would be good here. I think I got something wrong yesterday. I said, like, wait, explosive bullets don't hurt you in vanilla. I'm pretty sure that's wrong. The explosive bullets do, but for some reason... Hellfire arrows that explode do not. Oh, what's this? Oh, right. It's you. Uh, easier to do this. And safer. Let's not die this way. It would be embarrassing to die to an invasion that's just super easy because I got jealous. There we go. Let's do it again. Unless we got all the drops we're looking for, that would be good. Let's stack away all the gaudy pirate stuff. Including the stuff I accidentally deleted before. It's in the void bag. More of the same for the most part. I'm looking for the coin gun. And I think I already have the diamond ring, is it? There's like, yeah, here we go. Gold ring, coin ring. Uh, we need lucky coin plus gold ring to make the coin ring. And then, is that, that's still a material. Greedy ring requires coin ring plus discount card. And I think the discount card is a rare drop. Shop prices lowered by 20%. And then we can combine all those things. 
Coin pickup range, shop price lowered, hitting enemies makes them drop extra coins. Uh, really, I guess I just want the discount card. I don't really care about those other things. And again, we're not exactly having trouble with money in Calamity. Maybe I should just not bother. But I kind of like collecting a little bit. We also make a lot of money really fast killing the pirates. Another one. Round two. The flight time on these uh, wings is great. this hasn't dropped what we're looking for, we'll move on to something else for now. Give me those seeds. Alright, we got... Mad Bits? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We got another gold ring. That's a bit of a tease. And a third gold ring. We got four gold rings. Oh, and one lucky coin. We're still missing the discount card. But we do get one coin ring. Increases coin pickup range. Enemies will sometimes drop coins when they're hit. Combine those and and then we can combine it with lower shop prices. Wait, is that still a material? Um, how does this work? Greedy ring? No, greedy ring is the final form. All right, where the these rings. There we go. What's next on the boss fight list? Plantera. Let's try the acid rain. What time is it? 8.39 a.m. Perfect. Let's get another bat. And... Uh, crystal assassin gear should be fine. Or maybe the... Uh, Chlorophyte gear? The Chlorophyte gear was super class specific. Maybe I should just stick to Mage for now. 
Actually, let me confirm if the set bonus is the same. Oh, we don't get the dash, I forgot. That's why I like Crystal Assassin gear. Because we can free up an inventory slot. An accessory slot, rather. The Sulfuric skies begin to clear, but I was just heading over there for the... It's fine, whatever. We can summon it again with... Caustic Tear. I kind of forgot I have the Rod of Discord for getting more height as well. Although it doesn't give us that much more. Alright. Caustic tier go. Looks like the summons alone are enough to deal with this. Pretty chaotic though, lots of enemies coming at you from all angles. I guess maybe I shouldn't be standing on the water. Makes it a bit worse. Might have been what I saw drop, maybe. Letting off fireworks. Ow. Uh, alright, fine, I'll drink buff potions. was that? Rude. Don't seem to be hitting anything there. Maybe I should equip the treasure magnet instead of all this damage. Make sure I pick up all the stuff that drops. Or some of it, anyway. It's not that hard, but it's quite relentless, this, uh, event. I'm sure I could do it without, like, Razor Blade Typhoon, but... Is that it? Fan... Oh. Yeah, no, we got it. Fantastic. 
I'll leave this trilobite. You may go. Alright, so does boss log say we beat it now? It does. Fantastic. Didn't get much of the loot, but it's probably all redundant at this point. Whoops. Uh, and I was gonna get Souls of Night. So that we could see where that shotgun goes. Can I get up here? Let's make it so I can get up here. Into our artificial corruption biome. Here we go. I'm hoping to find some crimson, uh, some corruption mimics rather. Crimson Mimics wouldn't be that bad either, but I can turn soul, uh, Souls of Night into Crimson Mimics. I can only find Corruption Mimics by hanging around here. Let's spread more of it. Also, we get First Flame, which you can only get from Corruption Enemies. Can I not? Oh, there we go. This little bit of terrain is a tad awkward. And bonus points, we get to steal some more of this to take somewhere else. Why is this fairy trying to lead me? Why is my knockback so high? Uh, let's see. Ebonstone block goes here, goes here, goes here, goes here, goes here, and so on. want it to spread for some other biome spreads here as well. Oh, I see a strange plant. Yes, please. Thank you. And one of these, why not? Could you come down here? Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> we just direct damage deleted the big worm. Alright. Get back up here. There we go. That was one of the most awkward spots we could have fought that thing. Luckily we're overpowered. I really love being able to just ignore one hit from enemies sometimes. And not at random, like the dodge mechanic in vanilla.
Just kidding. Always more. More faster. Especially over here before the crimson spreads. Oh, let's do more damage. And I think up here as well, please. Ruby Crawler. Hell yeah, rubies are actually... I think they are almost harder to get than diamonds sometimes. Well, they can be. How many souls have we got? 13? Probably more than I was looking for. Oh my god. I, I forgot. I've seen this before. It's not that tough. Still, it's kind of spooky to have that just show up. Alright. Oh, we got a corruption key. I think we already had one. The biome keys are a lot easier to find in Calamity. Alright, let's go see what we've got in terms of souls. 24, and I think we need like 7 or something for the Onyx Blaster. 10. Let's make that. And... oh, that went green, didn't it? Yeah, when we've got the stuff that it takes to craft something. It goes green. I never noticed that. Alright. Onyx Blaster. And then we need... What to upgrade it? Onyx Chain Blaster. Luminite Bar plus Chain Gun. Okay. We need to kill the Moon Lord for Luminite Bar. But Chain Gun we can get from the Frost Moon. Which we could probably do right now, actually. I'm guessing uh, the Frost Moon is a bit further down this list. Pumpkin Moon, Morning Wood, Pumpkin. It thinks the Frost Moon is harder? A little bit? Yeah, the Frost Moon is just past the uh, Pumpkin Moon. I think, yeah, they're about the same. Grand Sand Shark. How do we spawn it? Sandstorm's Core. Hallowed Bar Forbidden Fragment Ectoplasm. I don't have Ectoplasm yet. We need to kill Plantera first. That's the one I'm dreading. Is there anything from the Frost Moon or the... Pumpkin Moon that would help. I don't really think so. I think it's time to just scout out underground jungle some more. So that we hopefully find some more favorable terrain to start the fight with the Plantera. Either a really big open area and or a big loop so that we can run away from Plantera indefinitely. What is this? Another strange fruit? 
That's not strange fruit. It's a strange plant. Good grief. Uh, let's do some Aziz light. There's life fruit and the strange plant in the jungle. And yell it's all the way down. One thing that I would prefer a Toxic Up for is if we had Frost Armor, it would light the way. Let's dig into this. i um, surprised how fast my digging speed is with this. I haven't even used a uh, mining potion or food. Oh, bacon is probably still active. Yeah. Pickaxe go burr. Fantastic. Where are we going? Probably down to where that lava is. I think there tends to be more open spaces down there. I'd also like to find a uh, marble and granite biome. It's probably a bit late, but there was some good stuff I saw that we need granite to craft. We do have reasons to pick up life fruit still. Oh my god, why is my knockback so strong? I don't understand. Or is it just from the Sanguine Bat? Spider biome! Let's go get killed! If we're even a little bit careless. Kind of weird with the uh, danger sense potion. Is that a statue? Yeah. Potion of omniscience running out feels like suddenly being in the dark. Oh, with good reason. This is the last one, actually. I need to make some more. I think there's a reason to grab these hearts still. Oh, there's a living tree here. But well, not I forget what it's called, but it's it's a nice tree. Give me that boomstick, I guess. The big trees on the surface have living wood. I don't know if these ones have a name. seen any traps for a while. Do I even have? I do. Grand design. I don't have it automatically highlighting all the wires. There we go. Whoop. 
what just happened? Uh oh. Uh, okay, I think we're gonna take a little break right now. One second. Gotta fix my mouse here. Let's get some words on stream going. It's about time anyway, actually. And copy link. Fantastic. All right. Words on stream will start in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Tissue? Do we have tissue? Too little, too late. That looked like kind of a tricky first ba uh, first level.
We don't have as many eyes as usual when I go to words on stream, and those were some tricky ones. It's fine. Let's do some some more Terraria. Maybe better luck next time. Okay. Take whatever this is. I shouldn't get too distracted by mining everything out, but the real objective here is to explore the uh, explore the underground jungle. Oops. So that we can find. Can I not fit this shot through here, Billy? Really? Explore the underground jungle so that we can find a good path to fight Plantera without seriously disrupting the natural shape of it very much. This is looking kind of promising. It's almost... It's almost half big enough to be an arena to fight Plantera in in and of itself. What's this? Explosives? Yeah, that, that is the smallest dead man's chest I've ever seen, but it, it'll still kill you. Let's fix that with the... Grand design. Fantastic. What do we have? Lucky horseshoe. Inventory is already crying. Can I quick stack? I can... I still can't, even though um, Calamity gives us like double drops from the uh, Mimics. Oh no, 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 don't fall. Okay, there we go. Even though Calamity gives us double drops from the Mimics and they seem to be more common, maybe, um, I can't help, I, I can't undo the habit of whenever I hear that tink that tells me there's a Mimic. Gotta get it, gotta get the loot. Every single time. That was more torches than I meant to place. One thing that might be worth considering, probably not really. Uh against Plantera would be the Ice Wand. Because when we can block line of sight, even though the projectiles from the first phase go through walls, um, they won't get fired at us if we don't have line of sight. Just going to put this away since I'm never using it. Even though I maybe should. Got another Philosopher's Stone. Chlorophyte Aura. Lucky Horseshoe. Ivy Chest. Jester's arrows are actually quite good. Um, they just fly in a straight line and pierce everything. Really strong for... Oh, do not loot all that. Really strong for how relatively obtainable they are. We got the beam sword. That goes a lot faster than in vanilla, I think. And that is a component of. Oh, I thought this was a component of um of the final sword in vanilla, or did I get this backward? Five fifty four melee damage. Definitely doesn't sound very vanilla. First dagger. Is this calamity only? Stealth strikes are showered in cursed fireballs, probably. Rogue damage, yeah. We got another magic quiver. Do I have the flamey thing to combine this with? I don't think so. I think, 
think we haven't actually found a molten whatchamacallit yet. No, here it is. Magma stone. I've only got one. Whatever. Let's make a quiver. Why not? It's still a material now. Molten quiver goes into... Okay, any quiver goes into quiver of nihility. 5% increased ranged crit strike summons a ring of four void fields to orbit you. Arrows that pass through them gain a 100% damage boost and double the speed. What the hell? Elemental quiver. Any quiver plus deadshot brooch. It's also post Moon Lord, so let's not worry about it just yet. But 15% increased range damage. That's that's not arrow damage specifically. 5% increased range crit strike chance, 20% reduced ammo usage. 20% chance to not consume arrows. All range projectiles. Not sure how a quiver helps with bullets, but I'll take it. Magic B magic. Let's stack all this stuff away. Didn't even open that earlier. Strange plant goes here. What do we get? Gel dye again. Don't need perforator relic. Bloodbath? We already had that, definitely. TMT goes in here. And... That's still a lot of stuff we need to stack away. What is this? Slag Magnum. Oh, we need bullets. I think I have this already, actually. Yep. Right fold map. What does this combine with? Uh, fast clock. Get that out of here. I need another one of these. Or these. Oh, that was a corruptor. Uh, whatever. Corruptors are super weak at this stage. Spider Fang. It's a bit late, but we could make some summoner gear out of this. But it is way behind where we're at now, actually. The spider staff isn't bad, though. It latches onto something and just never lets go. And last but not least, I don't need the tenth needler. And all of this stuff is expendable as well. Alright, back we go. Um, where were we? Quite low. I want to go to the left and dig up into here if I have to. Let's go mining, summon, redo our buffs. Oh, we need the uh, vision potions. We need a bunch of hunter. That was more than I meant to buy, but that's okay. I need a bunch of danger sense. Let's go 193 for that as well. And then... Spelunker Potion? I think that's all it takes. Yep. So that is... 193 Spelunker Potions, if I can afford that, which I think I can. Yeah, we should be fine. And then... That's the last time we're going to have to think about that for a while. 
All right, back we go. Could drain this lava, I don't want to. is light. Give me that adamantite, I guess. Big open area. Ooh, another base. What's this? We have some kind of... Oh, I think that's just for aesthetics. The uh, actuators here. Yeah, it's just to put this pipe behind to make it look cool. What's in this chest? Mysterious circuitry? Dubious plating, and some stuff that's very common. Oops. What's in here? Nothing too exciting. Ooh, a mimic. Which I'm probably get getting too excited about again. Do the mimics drop the magma stones, or is that um, from something else? We found our granite biome. That's something. Oh, that is a huge open space that we've got here. I think I'd like to try to lead... What if we start the fight, like, up here-ish, and pull Plantera down to these big open areas? I think that might be manageable. I have underestimated just how spacious places like this are against Plantera before, but... This is pretty good, though. And we've got a rail going all the way to the left here, somewhere. This might be the track that we're looking for. Uh, as is light. And we have a nice, clearly marked path if we do it this way as well. Alright. As is light, indeed. Can I get in there, please? Stupid dodge input. And we have another rail. Oh, we've seen this rail! I d didn't actually see where it goes yet. Not all the way. Alright, this is almost ideal. If we can... is that a bulb? That's our calcum. If we can summon Plantera around about here somewhere and pull her to the right until we end up in these big open areas, that might be okay. Hey, Zavoxifol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sorry, it's a bit slow there.
Alright, I'll grab that life fruit. Uh, I think at this point we should just be looking for um, plantera bulbs around this area. Because I don't think it's going to get much better than this. Doing good? You? Yeah, not too bad. Where's that terrifying purple bulb? And why is my digging this slow? Because I don't have food. Can we get in here? Really? There we go. Okay, but where is there a plantera bulb around here? What a tease. Are we actually going to have this, like, amazing... Hardly perfect, but you couldn't really realistically ask for more area to fight Plantera. Natural area, that is. And then we just can't find a bulb near it? Is that how this is going to go? knocking on the door, this guy. Explosion. Uh-oh. I should go get some holy arrows as well. And I'll do yet another double check that we can't just buy those somewhere. Give me those worms though. Wait, are they fake? No, they've been dropped. Actually, I could do it this way. There we go. Still not seeing any bulbs, and my inventory is crying. Can we quick stack? Not even a little bit. They still strike me as in-game salespeople. Did you know you could save money by switching to? Wait, what's that? You mean the NPCs selling potions? Uh, we're not worried about moon glow seeds. We're not worried about jungle torches. I guess that'll do for the moment. Let's just gulp down a potion of return rather than being too stingy with it. Especially since we can just buy these now. The guy knocking on the door. <laughs> All right. What are they called in America? Jehovah's Witnesses? We've got plenty of dual hooks. Uh, I definitely want to keep the bands of regen. I've never finished finding this cobalt armor set, even though by the time I would have it, it would be redundant. I want to try. Just as a collector thing. 
I keep misclicking. There we go. Are you selling anything new? Not that I can see. You guys never sell potions, do you? You never actually have to buy any of these things. He'll just... You can just look at it. Melee level is 3. Ranged is 6. Magic is 7. Summon is 10. Even though we've never really played Summoner. And Rogue is 1. I should check if the pirate sells any potions or anything. Uh, gills, flipper, water walking, I'm not too worried about. No potions here. Alright. Does the pirate sell anything? Oh, I don't even need, like, the rod of discord. No potions here. Uh, let's see. That's everything on the left side except for the desert. I know you sell these potions. I should really be using the ammo reservation potions. When the time is right. Also, I'll grab a few illegal gun parts so that I don't have to wait for night time when the time comes that I want them. Are these dungeon walls? That's cool. That's nice. And Night Owl Danger Sense. Take the Night Owl, why not? What about... I don't think the Painter sells any potions. Good to know that we've got at least one NPC shack that isn't full right now. Um, Potion of Return, very good. Oh, what's this? Magic power, magic regen, grav. Yeah, I know. I'm aware of those. This guy doesn't sell potions. Oh, I was also looking for arrows, I forgot. But I don't think... I, I think I would have noticed if anyone was selling the arrows that I'm looking for. Holy arrows. Alright, jungle peeps, swiftness, region, uh, featherfall, thorns, summoning, calming, rage, wrath, inferno, nothing, nothing, and finally, you don't sell potions. Caught in caverns. Demonic hellfish. We gotta do some underworld fishing. The day just started as well, so we have plenty of time. Let's do that. And the golfer does not sell potions. Alright, we need... actually... is it here? I don't think I have a lava-proof fishing hook. Oh, I do. So we can use whatever bait we want, actually. Whoops. Down we go. Find a good spot. Um, I think down here might be okay. Put on the fishing gear. And the lava proof fishing hook as well. And some bait we've already got. Uh oh. Uh, I need that summon that shoots through walls. That would be good. As long as it's not gonna kill a voodoo demon. I keep thinking I can run to the left from this spot, but if I did make a door so that I could do that, enemies 
like these guys would leave it open and enemies would come in. I could do a circuit thingy that removes the wall when I go there. Is this a good spot for fishing? I don't think so. I want to be as inaccessible to most enemies as possible. Alright, as long as we don't get a voodoo demon dropping the voodoo doll into the lava. I, I'm, I'm concerned by the fact that I can't actually see what this is shooting though. Alright, let's not do that I guess. Uh, fishing potion, sonar potion, crate potion, since we're here. If I'm going to bother to do lava fishing, we're going to do it right. Because it's a bit slower than most fishing, and some of the rewards are quite good. There's one of those voodoo demons. Maybe I should make a spot for lava fishing. It'll still be a bit dangerous, but maybe better than this. I could put a peace candle down here as well. But now that I've drunk my potions, I don't really want to do that. want to take the time. It might be worth it though. I didn't know the tortured soul was immune to lava. We still haven't got the quest fish either. Actually, let's do this. Uh, peace candle. Yeah, fantastic. At this rate, we're about to run out of our first crate potion, we still don't have the quest fish. Oh my god. It's pretty weird to have to be this far into the game as well and still have the uh the fishing not have the fishing line that prevents losing bait like that. This is getting a bit ridiculous. We're almost halfway through our fishing potion. Well, at least we're not running out of city fish or farin koi anytime soon. What bullet slash arrows are we using? Uh, I've got cursed arrows, but I think for Plantera, I'd like to get uh, holy arrows. I don't think I've got that many unicorn horns right now, though. As soon as I finish the fishing, I want to go get some horns. Or we'll see how many we have. I'll make some holy arrows and maybe I'll get some more horns. Pixie dust. I'm 
Still no quest fish. It did say to find it in caverns, right? Oh wait, did it say caverns as opposed to the underworld? It should be the underworld as well. Let's go check. As soon as I reel up whatever this is. Come on, bite. There we go. Alright, caught in caverns, even though it's demonic hellfish. Okay, this is caverns. I wonder if we could catch it in the lava. Well, this is not a lot of lava, so that would be terrible, like, fishing luck. Let's just do it from here, I suppose. Maybe I should look at the text, just in case it actually hints that it should be lava fishing. King of all demons is actually a fish, just imagine the absolute power I would have if you caught it for me. Caught in caverns. Yeah, I don't think it matters if we fish it out of lava or not. Fish of light? Right click to extract souls? Hell yes. As his light, night dancer. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If we don't get it in, well, I guess two minutes. If we don't reel it in in a few more goes, I'm giving up on this fishing quest. I'm guessing I was supposed to lava fish, but in the caverns layer, as opposed to the underworld. But I don't have any... You know what? I want to try it. There's a... There's a lava area up there we can use. But now I need this to be here. Ooh. Wait, is this what I think it is? Are we getting a free Hallowed Mimic? If I just don't aggro it? Or is it going to attack when I least expect it? Double Mimic? What does it mean? I didn't pay attention. What kind of fish are we getting here? Is it your typical underworld fish? Yeah, Farron Koi. Oh. Oh, that's rude. Stop. Stop. Well, this is kind of a good fishing spot. We get free souls at the same time. More to the point, we might get a uh, hallowed mimic without fighting it. dead, showing no signs of moving. Did I use all my bait? Not even. Uh-oh. Hmm. 
Are there any souls down here? Doesn't look like... Yes, there... Oh, there's a dual hook. Drops from the Mimic, mostly. gear. in here. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we get it. Easiest hard mode mimic of my life. And we get the Daedalus bow. <laughs> It's a bit late, like, it's no longer comparable to, to Tsunami, but still, that's pretty funny. Alright, I think we're done fishing. Uh, let's put our gear back on. Take those souls. Where did I... And this goes here... Let's make sure we pick up whatever souls were dropped down here. I think I got them all. Now. Oh. Fantastic. Right, back we go. And Hellstone Crate. Obsidian lockbox I need the obsidian key for, but I don't know where I left it. Normally it would be in the piggy bank. Oh, here it is. Another flame lash. Alright, let's get this stuff stored away. And or sold. Man's chest. Flame lash. Do I not have a flame lash down here? Oh, it's a it's not a material. I, sh I could have sworn I had a flame lash earlier. Daedalus Stormbow. Fantastic. 60 range damage versus 110. Wow. Although, I guess it depends how much the volume as well. We've got a million of these things, so let's just sell. Jester's arrow, not so much. And stack these away. Geode. Gimme. Uh, I guess chests go here. Alright, I'm actually running out of places to put them. Alright, we're storing chests now. And the bombs go here. 
Alright, holy arrows. How many unicorn horns do we have? Uh, 12? Each one makes 200. That is... Oh, it's a material now. Unholy Essence plus Holy Arrow makes Elysian Arrow. 27 range damage as opposed to 18. 10 crit, same knockback. Meteors from the sky on death? What? On death. That doesn't sound... Maybe I misunderstand, but that doesn't sound as effective. We need arrows, pixie dust, and unicorn horn. I think I've got some regular arrows stashed here somewhere. Fantastic. Anywhere else? No. Let's just grab a stack. I want at least a thousand. I think we can have like, what, 1200? No, I'm th I think it's 2200. Yeah, that's not that bad. Then again, I don't think I'd run out. using those against Plantera, but I'd like to be super cozy with it. Can we get some more unicorn horns? And while we're at it, we can find some more prismatic lace wings. We've only got three. Uh, weirdly enough, they kind of count as a monster for the purposes of spawning. So we can look for lace wings and uh, unicorns at the same time. Let's also put down. Where am I going to do this? Down here? Let's put down a candle as well. Maximum spawn rate go. Not quite maximum. There's... I want to look into the super... Maybe, maybe I should do it now, actually. Let's do it now. Is it the blood orbs that we're looking at? Rage? Is this it? Profaned rage potion. Nope, that's not it. I can't remember the name of the potion that causes lots and lots of enemy spawns. Soaring potion? Flight time, horizontal flight speed. Restores a fraction of your wing flight time after a true melee strike. Huh. Maybe I should have been making this for the fish run fights? Zerg potion, here it is. Purified gel, blood orb, bottled water. Purified gel is from that boss, right? Here it is, we've got lots of it now. Hell yeah, let's get some Zerg potions. And I don't think we'll ever be able to just buy these. So they're a little bit precious. But right now is... It's a material still? Wait, what? Oh, we could have made it without the blood orbs. Whoops. Blighted gel and demonic bone ash. And it would have cost the same amount of purified gel, actually. We can make a chaos camp? Okay, what? I shouldn't be looking at this here. Chaos candle. 
The mere presence of this candle enrages surrounding enemies drastically. One Zerg Potion, two Core of Chaos, three Soul of Night, and three Water Candles. So presumably it gives the same buff as the Zerg Potion or something. But it's permanent, like the Water Candle. I think it's working. Yeah, I think we'll have our, um... I think we'll have our decent supply of holy arrows pretty soon, actually. I should activate my sanguine bats. Make this a little bit stronger. Oh my god, that's a lot of lasers. Oh my god. Okay, what have I done? Oh, oh my god. Oh my lord. Okay. Okay. Good thing they don't lead the target or anything. New emotes? Uh, had those ones for a while. I've got some new ones coming. Hopefully better than I could make myself. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure they will be. What was that? Clap of lightning? I haven't seen a single lace wing yet. Maybe it's too late in the night? So... We've got Battle Potion, we've got Zerg, and we've got Water Candle. Um, I'm pretty sure it couldn't be any more extreme than this. Well, if we had that candle that we can make later on as well. I thought that was a lace wing. I was terrified for a second there. Totally knew they were there for a while, I just didn't notice them. Heh <laughs> heh. Uh -huh. Someone, some, I think it was Veldak wanted the big brain one, and I just sort of threw it together as best I could. People seem to like that more than expected. You never know what'll be hit or miss to some extent. How many unicorn horns are we carrying right now? 35? Jeez. Uh, that exceeds expectations. So we could make, what, 7,000? We're going to have more than a stack of holy arrows quite soon. Yeah, this is... This is exceeding expectations. Maybe once we get to 40 or 45 horns, I should go over to where the corruption is. Get even more cursed flame. We can always get more, it's fine. Probably got a couple of... Yep, light shards as well. Fantastic. Still got 11 minutes left on the Zerg potion. Should I make the most of it here, or... I feel like there's some other places I could go. It's a little expensive. It's not that bad. Oh, I know. 
I should go look for souls with this buff. Oh wow, we've got 53. 54 unicorn horns? Okay, I think that'll do for the moment. Let's get some... Uh... Actually, come to think of it, the Zerg won't necessarily help with this. Because I need those stationary thingies to spawn. So I just have to go back and forth anyway. Let's just put this stuff away for now. Morning, Hex. King Fner. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, where be those unicorn horns? Gimme, gimme. And gimme, gimme the pixie dust. Holy arrow. That is, in fact, a stack. It's theoretically... On paper, it's less damage than the Cursed Arrows, but uh, stars fall like through the terrain and stuff as soon as they hit a target. Need some more Channel Point audio clips? A laugh one would be good. That sounds like a good idea. What about canned laughter? Like from the old sitcoms. Let's take the remainder of our Zerg potion down to our artificial corruption biome. Is this it? No, it's up there. It's fine. I do not want to trigger this. Get out of here. What is she- oh, it's Tim. Ah, oh, Tim can stay there. Tim is fine. What just hit me? As is light. And as is light. There we go. That is a lot of enemies. And that's a lot of souls. Wow. Yeah, I think we're doing this every time that we need to look for souls or something. Now that we're this powerful. If I'm really keen, I could also get a... Another gnome statue. Increase the drop rate for certain things. Hey, it's Mr. Bones. Hey, Bonesy. What you buying? What are you selling? You're selling marrow? Hell yes. Put it in my void bag. Oh, Crimson Mimic. Uh, how do I hit it from here? To wake it up. I don't think I have the right tools right now. I guess we'll use the arrow. Yep, there we go. And we're not going to underestimate it. It's dying pretty quickly. This would be reflecting bullets right now. Thankfully, it doesn't work on our spell. What do we get? Ancient Bone Dust? No, that's not it. Life Drain. I wonder if Life Drain got a buff in Calamity. Um, I kind of need to sell a bunch of stuff to make room in my inventory, but it's looking a little bit busy here right now. Also, Mr. Bones is gone. Yeah, it's looking just a tad bit aggressive in this place at this time.
Oh, another one. That's a corruption mimic, I think. While we have that boss after us as well. Okay. Alright. Good timing. That seems fine. That's what I wanted, actually. How about some bubbles? You want some bubbles? There you go. How long is left on our buff? Five minutes? I thought it was like two minutes earlier. Did I, did I misread it when it said seven minutes? I don't mind killing all this stuff, but like... I know there's a limit? There's, it, there's a rather high limit to how much stuff can be on the ground. I don't want stuff despawning. Ow. Ow, jeez. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's bubble you. Ow, ow. Too much, too much stuff not getting hit. How many mimics do you need? Holy crap. Nope, nope, nope. 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 That's... That's one too many mimics. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's put away the Zerg potion. Um... Let's heal up. And... Sell some of this stuff. Nope. Catch our breath. And maybe then we'll go back and use up the remainder of the Zerg potion. That was a bit on the extreme side. I've got too many blessed apples. I need to sell them or they'll just quick stack straight back in. We got a unicorn kite. Lovely. We also got unicorn on a stick. I... Oh. Don't need mummy stuff, it literally sells for nothing and it's quite common. Uh, I guess I'll keep the banners. We've got so many Titan gloves, I'm not even gonna stash these away. Marrow is a material now, that's cool. The Ballista. We just need 10 ecto uh, ectoplasm. Convert wooden arrows into great arrows that crush enemy armor and break into shards on death. That's cool. So I guess when it says on death with these arrows, it means when it hits. Whoops, whoops. I already put one of those away. Uh, but yeah, Maru itself is... This seems a lot faster than expected. Uh, it's a really nice, like, slow-firing, high-damage bow from Vanilla. And the arrow moves very quickly. Stack away. Do we have any time left? Nine minutes? Oh, that's Omniscience. Zerg has two minutes left. Let's make the most of it. And let's pick up all this stuff that we farmed earlier. Quite a lot of it, actually. How many souls did I pick up from this, like, five minutes or so? We're gonna find out. likes to roar a lot. Oh, poor guy. There you go.
I always found it quite weird that, like, neutral creatures can drop souls of night. Or, or souls of light, for that matter. Depending on the biome that you were in when they spawn. so that we could just squeeze through here. Whoops, rip tree. And hello, Mimic. Are you gonna come at me, bro? No? They are not that predictable. Oh, there you go. not the most comfortable area to fight one of these things, but it's not that bad either. Alright, is our Zerg Potion done? I think our Zerg Potion is done. still don't have teleport. Something up here I wanted to pick up. I think. Nope, oh, that was nothing actually. I'll take the souls though. Alright, what's our hole? Stash these things away. Uh, a series of numbers. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Unicorn Kite Awesome, indeed. Oh, I got Putrid Scent. That's kind of hard to farm up sometimes. It actually goes into a lot of stuff now. Arcane Flower. It's still a material. Reduced mana usage. Automatically use potions and enemies are less likely to target you. What does it turn into? Oh, any mana flower, so we're not worried about that. Uh, Modlinator, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We definitely want the Recon Scope. Stalker's Quiver, that's different. Oh no, wait, that's part of vanilla. It is a material now, but I think it's just any Quiver. Recon Scope... Oh, it's... no, this is new. Sniper Scope plus uh, Putrid Scent. So it just adds the enemies are less likely to target you thing. Oh, but you need this to get the full damage buff out of it now. Okay. I don't think we have a scope yet. Sniper Scope comes from the dungeon, right? Anyway, let's put it in here for now, I suppose. We got Life Drain. I don't recall it dealing 70 magic damage before. What's our DPS with this? 1000s upon 1000s? If... in the ideal scenario, anyway. Uh, that seems kind of strong. It is also a... I was going to say it's a material, but it's just one of those things where we can swap it. I guess we don't actually need Crimson Mimics, because it seems like everything that is exclusive between, like, Crimson and Corruption from the Mimics, you can just swap this into its opposite. Anyway... 
Uh, let's re-roll that. I don't even remember what I had in slot C. Oh, that's right, it was that spell that I was never using. Mystic? Is that the best you can do here? It is not. Could, could you be persuaded to stop? Thank you. Why did you leave the door open? Okay. And what... what are you? That's right. Uh, so we got Mythical Life Drain. Fantastic. Treasure Bag, the Hive Mind. Oh, I've seen this. And we got a whole bunch. 151 Cursed Flame. Beautiful. I don't need another Wizard Hat or Plasma Rod. Let's just sell that. Armor polish? I don't know if we're short on those, but I'll throw it in here. Don't care about the coffee. I'm pretty sure we have the hive mind relic. I can always get another one anyway. Let's put the DPS meter away. And stack all of this stuff. What's this? Ancient gold helmet? Gold gives you increased damage in this mod set. Vitamins combine with uh, armor polish, actually. Give me that. Are we getting close to combining all of these things yet? Uh, I think I might have the medicated bandage. Actually, I don't think I do. No. So we don't have the green thing. Can we make one, I think? Those are. Uh, it doesn't look like it. We've killed an awful lot of hornets and stuff. But I haven't... I don't think I've had a single Bozar drop this playthrough. Or however you pronounce it. That's actually really unlucky. Uh, we've got Armor Bracing, The Plan, Counter Curse Mantra, and I think Blindfold. Somewhere. In here. Yeah, there's the Blindfold. So we're just missing... Oh, what's this? Pocket mirror. Immunity to petrification. I think I found one of those. Where did I put it? Pocket mirror. Or was I able to craft it? Is that where I saw it? Um, pocket mirror, whoops, craft, what do I, pocket mirror, left, double left click, glass, any gold bar, crystal shard, soul of night, that is so easy, alright, glass, any gold bar, crystal shard, how do I only have 12 crystal shards? I guess I have to pick them up. And we have 94 souls of night. That's fantastic. Alright, here we go. We can make pocket mirror. Fantastic. Alright, so we are just missing Boza to get this thing made. Or however you pronounce it. And still missing stuff that we get from fishing to finish the damn cell phone. Put in caverns. We had so much luck last time catching things from the caverns. I think it probably has to be neutral caverns, like not... Uh, 
not lava and not like hallowed for example so maybe here I don't know if that's deep enough to call it the caverns underground caverns yes it is I still didn't clean out my loot yet, did I? <laughs> Alright, this should be easily the maximum we can get fishing-wise. Let's turn off the water candle. How about we turn on the peace candle? Minimum monsters, please. Grab some bait, we've already got it. And I'm not going to use a buff or anything. Oh, that was quick. First fish. No, I think we just missed it. No. We missed the quest by like four seconds. All right. Are we going to put it in here and hope that he asks for a hunger fish again one day? Surface and underground. I'm pretty sure the ocean counts as the surface. If it doesn't, I should just go over here. That looks like 300 tiles pretty easily. I feel like we probably should have got the quest fish by now. Alright, let's go over this way. I don't have my dash. Terrible. Yeah, that should be 300 tiles of water. There we go. Quest. And we got another angler vest. Thank goodness. It's not like we had two spares of those. Alright, give me back my dash, please. And everything else. What's in this mithril crate? Nothing much, really. Bloaty gross banner. Beautiful. Sawtooth shark. And what's in the void bag? Way too much. Stack that away. Why do I have a ge random gem corn? Oh, because I killed that poor gem corn tree. By accident. Where am I going to put this? Down here? It might grow. Auto place is telling me it will not grow. What about down here? Right where this trap is. There we go. Doesn't Beetlejuice go over here? Yes, it does. What's this? Ebonstone block. Uh, I can go in there, I guess. I suppose. And stash. I think we're just going to sell all this crap. Alright, cool. Alright, so we have our holy arrows. Um, I think we are going to switch to ranger for... Plantera. 
Now, if I could just find a Plantera bulb that is kind of close to where we want to fight her, that would be great. There isn't a thing that summons Plantera, is there? Hello? Porter bulb. Hell yes. 15 jungle spores, 10 souls of sight and night, 3 murky paste, vine, and trapper bulb. We can make this right now, unless I'm a little bit short on souls of light. Nope, oh, we're good. And what's more, we can resummon Plantera whenever we want. Uh, where am I keeping... Oh, what's that? Murky paste. Trapper bulb. Uh, jungle spores. Vines. Is this it? Probably... Nope, there it is. Summons Plantera when used in the jungle. Enrages outside the underground jungle. I've never actually seen Plantera enraged. I wonder if it would be worth fighting her on the surface. Probably best to do that when we're super overpowered, actually. Alright, do we want to try this as range, uh, as mage or ranger? Probably ranger. Not half because we can use the hallowed gear. I mean, we can use that as mage as well, but still. Um, put the accessories that are mage specific in here. And then... What is that? Deadshot Brooch. We need Core of Calamity. Don't think we can get those yet based on the yellow text. That's quite good. And it's a material. Alright, Ranger Damage, uh, Shield of Cthulhu, where did I put my Shield of Cthulhu? Do we want Warding or Menacing? Probably Menacing. Uh oh, I don't know where it is. It should be here? No? Oh, it's in the piggy bank, I think. Yeah, there we go. Menacing shield. Hallowed gear. Headgear can go over here. And... Both of these are 9 defense, right? And we have a whole inventory slot remaining still. I think we want the uh, knockback prevention shield. And it would be best. If we could get the final ingredient to upgrade this to the ank shield. It's also still a material. Shield of the ocean, ornate shield, core of calamity. Not upgrading that for a while. Alright. So should we maybe... Rage Potion in the underground jungle? That sounds a bit dangerous. But I really want that Bozar drop. 
Let's put this in the piggy for now. I think that's my only obsidian shield. Uh, but what am I wearing here in the meantime? Nothing. Is this really all I've got ranged accessory wise right now? Seems like it. That should be here. Oh, I meant to see what the Onyx Bar Blaster could be upgraded. Oh, I remember. We need the Moon Lord. Uh, let's put our magic, some of our magic gear away. I think. Actually, I think I'm going to be rocking the same gear. We haven't got Toxic Harp and the Bubble Gun is stronger anyway. And we're already wearing the Tsunami and Particle Accelerator. And I like the Razorblade Typhoon as like a just throw out a magic homing missile thing. So this seems fine for now. But what accessory should I be wearing? Stinger necklace? Five armor pin? I don't think that's particularly relevant at this point. I think a defensive item is the way to go. I'll just wear the uh, obsidian shield until until we get the upgrade for it. All right then. And one more bat. And then rage potion. Zerg potion, rather. I feel like it should be called rage potion, but rage potion is already taken. Down we go. I don't want to consume all my buffs, do I? Probably should. Maybe the stimulants is where the... Oh, that's where the minion knockback is coming from. Yarim stimulants. Okay, good to know. Don't want to hit a plantera bulb up here. I need to make more Yarim stimulants. Ooh, give me that. Also, what do we make the... I need orange bloodroot, sky blue flower. Oh, we can make it with blueberries, but I don't have this stuff. Where do I find orange bloodroot? Like, I've seen them a few times in vanilla, but they're hardly common. I think we find them, like, moderate depth in just, like, vanilla areas. Alright, let's buff including the Zerg Potion. I should have got a Battle Potion as well. Whoops. It's probably fine. I don't know if they stack. Like, there could be some maximum spawn rate that we're already hitting. Gotta be really careful. Now that we're... I shouldn't spend too much time looking at my loot, but the moment we get what we're looking for, I want to upgrade my shield. That said, the underground jungle with Zerg Potion <laughs> might be a bit dangerous. Maybe it's a good thing that I don't have the Battle Potion as well. If they do stack. So why don't we use the bow? Because it's just not as powerful if we're using regular arrows. Certainly not for hitting lots of little targets. We 
we've got plenty of uh, mana stars dropping. No worries there. We got it! Alright, let's, uh... Let's leave. And we want... Obsidian sh Oh, what, what is this? Cobalt Leggings. Where one of these random drops away from finishing that collection. Once. And... I just realized we need to... We need to do this first. Where is it? It's way up here, I think. Let me reach. Can I do it like this? There's like a frame or ten. There we go. Medicated bandage and ink charm. And the ink charm combines with and only with the ink shield and vice versa. Or rather, it makes the ink shield, that is. 12 defense, immunity to knockback, immunity to all the things. Including mighty wind. Amazing. And we're not going to be able to upgrade it for ages. Let's make that warding, because if I'm going to be wearing something like this, I definitely want some defensive stats. And... Fantastic. So this one accessory is 18 defense. Nice. Stack away the things. Um, and I think... Should I go somewhere to use up the rest of this potion? Is that... No, I thought we had a traveler. Traveling merchant. What is this area? Oh, I see. We've got plenty of souls now. What, how many do we have of each? 39 versus 82. Why don't we grab a few more souls of light? Is that what I think it is? No, it's not. Okay. What a tease. It's only adamantite ore. I thought it was orange blood root. What a weird... What a twist. That that's the way I'm thinking right now. I would... Oh, here it is. Orange blood root. But it's only one of them. Roofs? Bloodroot grows off of dirt. Dirt roofs. Okay. Uh, let me check. It doesn't quick stack, so we don't have more of these here. So we need five life fruit, ten blood orbs, and five of each mechanical boss soul. We've only got 19 blood orbs left. We need another um, blood moon. Mechanical boss souls. Life fruit. And where do we make this? Oh, right here. Blood orange. Permanently increases max life by 25. Fantastic. Alright. Let's... Oh, I shouldn't quick stack this yet. Whoops. We've only got nine of these left though, so it doesn't matter. Let's see if we can't find some more orange blood root. There's plenty of dirt roofs. Is that more? I believe it is. I think we know where we're going to be finding... Oh, and a water chest. Let's just teleport up here. There we go. And of course, it's like just sitting there by itself. We got shark bait. Baby shark. It 
is indeed hanging off of a dirt roof. So if that's how it works, uh, it seems like we're going to find quite a few of them going back and forth around here. Hopefully enough to get the job done eventually. Oh, there's another one. They're really quite common once you start looking for them. Do they have to be in water? I think that was just a coincidence, right? Probably. What is that? Topaz Crawler. Maybe I should use the... No, never mind. I should grab a Toxic Carp. Is that what I think it is? Nope. Alright, we got two more orange blood roots. I wonder how many more um, of these things we can make. Probably at least three more. stash away the orange blood root because I'm pretty sure we need more life root to make it work. Where am I keeping chests in here? Teal mushroom. I'm surprised we don't have those quick stack. We got green mushrooms. Are we out of excuses? Should we try fighting Plantera? I could, of course, aim to increase my max health for longer, but... That's not really going to make that much difference. Um, I don't think Featherfall is helping us there. We definitely want Rage and Wrath. Inferno doesn't really help. Rip Bunnies. Grav doesn't really help here. Heartreach might. Hunter is included in Potion of Omniscience. Bones Potion, why not? Uh, why do we have two Featherfalls like that? I don't think a calming potion would help anything. Maybe knockback would help. I don't know if those little things can get knocked back. It's cheap anyway. Alright, we've got our whole stack of holy arrows. Oh, how do we make the stimulants? Either 50 blood orbs, that's a lot, or any food, endurance, iron skin, swiftness, titan. Okay, so any food. We've got the cheap foods right here. Fantastic. Whoops. And stimulants. Fantastic. Let's redo our summoner buff. And head on 
over to the jungle. I'm not scared, you're scared. This is only arguably the worst boss to fight with this uh, no arenas rule. Alright, double check number 6000. We've got... Menacing everything except for the stuff that isn't. We've got dash, we've got hallowed armor, we've got shield, uh, sorry, brain of confusion. We've also got the shield, actually. The anti knockback and anti everything else shield. Oh, I still have the uh, Zerg potion active, don't I? Yeah, three minutes. It's fine. By the time we get down there, it'll be gone. It just means we'll make some friends along the way. Make them into loot drops. Going down this way. I guess that Plantera bulb could work, but it doesn't matter now. If, it, if Plantera spawned, like, lower right, that would actually be a big problem. So how many life fruit do I need for one of these again? Five. It's not that many. So I need ten to make the most of... Uh the orange blood root that I've already found. game I hadn't found a single Boza and then literally a minute into using the rage potion it drops. I was tempted to use my arrows there. Oh I can. Ah, don't kill that. I think I would have to pull out a pickaxe to break it actually. The summons really help dealing with whatever I'm not aiming at right now. And there's another Boza. Or Bezoa, however you pronounce it. Let's look at how it's spelled. More carefully. Bezoa. Bez Bezoa? Greetings, Razorblade mortals. Alexaris, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, I don't know if I said Rusty Panda. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Also, I think I saw you were playing Words on Stream. Perhaps. All right. Where would be the best place to start this? Way over to the left, I think. Unless we get cut off. That's a possibility. I guess I could always quit if that happens. Did we run out of... Yes, we did. Good. Or maybe it's better to just start in one of these big areas, and we should be able to get around her. Should be able to get around her. 
We don't have very good... Um, this block isn't too bad. We need cover that we can put between ourselves and Plantera. This area's not that bad, actually. Over here is a bit more awkward, but now that I look at it, it's not that bad either. You did? Okay. Need some light here. That lava's coming down from a long way up. If we had... I guess we could use this space to turn around, actually. Oh, I like that. All right. As is light. Gotta pretend that double torch doesn't bother me. Oh, that hurt. And it's not here. Up this way. That's not where it is. Ah, geez, holy crap! You sneaky giant earth elemental. Okay. I hope the volume normalizer did its job there. Oh. Sneaky. That's. I'm not even worried about grabbing that right now. Alright, is this really... we have to squeeze through here? That's a bit unfortunate. Using headphones is still intact. Okay, thanks for telling me. Don't know why the underground jungle I mean, okay, with vanilla game, there's never any frame rate issues, but I don't know why the underground jungle is making Calamity upset. Yeah, this area is pretty great, actually. We should be able to do a reversal running from Plantera here. And we should be able to do it somewhere down there as well. Alright, do we have all of our buffs? I think so. Arrows, check. Armor, check. Accessories, check. I think this is it. She's coming from up north. Ow. Ow. That's not doing much damage. Ow, 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 but she keeps firing. Alright, I want to pull her through here. And then we can kite her through this way. Wait, let me just use the Typhoon for a sec, so I don't have to worry about aim at the moment. that much damage, surprisingly. Oh, oh, okay, bad dodge. It's not working that well. This will be a bit better, I think. 
is not where I should be doing this. This is better. Alright. I think we just have enough room here to fight her almost normally, honestly. Once the ranged stuff stops, there we go. Bit uncomfortable, but I think we're basically okay. And fall past. Wait, wait, wait how did I get stuck? I have anti knockback shield, what's going on? Okay, okay. I think we got this. I think we got this. I think we got this. That wasn't so bad. It's not over yet. That wasn't so bad. Okay, give me this stuff. I already picked it up. Fantastic. That's one bad-tempered plant. It is indeed. Um... Alright, that was relatively easy. I think part of it is because of the, uh... We've got 95 defense. I think it was because Calamity that it was that easy. Could probably have gone for Mage. It's fine. Let's do it again once we're at full health. easier to dodge the projectiles out in the open. Ow. 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 You don't deal much damage, thankfully. I don't like those bouncy things. That complicates the dodging process. Ow. Oh, Shield of Cthulhu, that's why. That's why I bumped into her before, because I'm using the wrong dodge, for lack of a better way to put it. So I just have to not dodge if I want to get past her. Or at least make sure that when I dodge I'm not going to collide with anything. I thought that was another Plantera for a second there. <laughs> you cheeky wretch. Um, one, once more with feeling? Nice fight, thank you. Adasha, Dr. Magras, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Imagine being unsure of your ability to kill Plantera after killing Duke Fishron. It's um mostly because we've got this open space that it was this easy, because the challenge is don't build boss fight arenas. Which normally complicates things a lot more with Plantera, but also we've got way better defense than if it was vanilla. It was actually one of the hardest fights, or pro arguably the hardest fight, um, except that I hadn't played for a while and had to relearn to f relearn killing Moonlord uh, when I did a vanilla arenaless master run. one free hit for a while. It's not entirely a free hit because we do get the armor break. It's mostly a free hit though. Alright, is three enough? Should we have everything from Plantera now? 
I've only got... Oh, that's Holy Protection. We've got two minutes left on most of these buffs. I kind of want to do it one more time. Before the fight, you mentioned Normalizer. Are you applying audio filters to the live stream? Yes. Uh, would you mind to name what filters you have? Sure, I'll have another look at it after this. It's been a minute since I set them up. Other than some really basic ones, um, I actually sort of followed a tutorial for it that was recommended to me. Uh, and immediately lots of people disliked how it sounded. There was just one filter that I ended up keeping from that lot. Let's not get cocky. This is not great. Can I get through here? If I... Uh, if I didn't... If I had a dash other than Shield of Cthulhu, I wouldn't have bounced here. And I would have got through and gotten out. Because Shield of Cthulhu slams you into an enemy whereby you hit them, you don't take damage, and then you bounce off them. Rip, indeed. Um, okay. Let's stash our stuff away. Oh, those filters. Let's see. Where do I even find them? Do I even remember anymore? Uh, that's the... Of properties for I honestly don't know where to find my audio filters at the moment uh sorry about that dm me i'll I'll give you the details if you want you can find the discord in the down there part Alright, let's see what we got from Plantera. We have the Plantera Relic, of course. Where does that go? Right after the Calamitous Clone? Which one's the Calamitous Clone? Is this it? Yes. Alright, so Plantera goes here. And... I think we're going to run out of inventory space if I don't sort this first. Should definitely put the cooked fish probably in here. Slag Magnum. I think we already found this before. Yeah. Now we've got an overabundance of bezoas. Jungle creeper banner. Sell the yellets and stuff. We've got way too many titan gloves. Oh, was that a jungle key? We got two jungle keys. Keys are so easy to get in Calamity. What's this? Plantera. Well done, you killed a plant. It was used as a vessel to house the spirits of those unfortunate enough to find their way down here. I wish you luck in dealing with the fallout. Fascinating. We got an angry trapper kite. Beautiful. And... Quick stack all the things. And then we're almost done. Um, 
Marina Blum. Arapa Arapaima Banner. Hornet Banner. Have I really not stacked that? Sell all these. And last but not least. Fantastic. Alright, what do we get? Grenade launcher? Temple keys, of course. Uh, Venus Magnum, which is not the last thing we need to make the Clock Gatlignum. Clock Gatlignum. It's hard to find. It's okay. All right, no worries. Yeah, feel free to uh, DM me. I'll get that to you at some point. Oh, we got Living Shard. I remember seeing these in the requirements for a couple of things. Like Lunarian Bow. That doesn't seem very good. It's still a material, though. Oh, it's not... Yeah, it's Cosmic Bolter. Requires the Lunarian Bow. 65 range damage sounds pretty weak at this point. But it is still a material. Combine it with the Daedalus Stormbow and five Luminite Bars, five Galactica Singularities. Sure. Can we do anything cool with this yet? We could make life fruit out of it if we were so inclined, which I'm not, probably. Terra Ray. We combined Knight's Ray and Valkyrie Ray. Splits into energy on hits. What's this? Terra Disc. Terra Flame Burster. Oh, flamethrower plus this plus essence of sunlight? Uh, sure. I'm pretty sure we made a flamethrower. Maybe we didn't because we had the meow something flamethrower, which was amazing. Meow thrower. It's a material still. Meow thrower plus terror flame burster, which we're about to make. Plus a bunch of other things. Okay. Did I make a regular old flamethrower at some point? Not that I can see. Nor remember. I think we need to make one. Alright. Uh, we need Souls of Fright. I've only got nine. Is that enough? Twenty Souls of Fright. Fine. Or Bully Skeletron Prime. With, like, one less than a minute left, actually. Oh, crap. I hope he doesn't kill us like Skeletron Prime if we... Uh, if it's morning. Probably should have double-checked that. It seems like we might have time. I should tank a few hits so that we can deal more damage. I think we got this, actually. Oh, we got 10 seconds. We got him. Okay. Fantastic. Alright, so that should be enough Souls of Fright, I think. What was that? Uh, yep, we've got 34. Oh, the grenade launcher is a material now. Scorpio. Snowman cannon? Like my favorite missile, uh, favorite weapon, arguably. Plus Grenade Launcher, plus Rocket Launcher, plus 20 Vortex Fragments. 
Uh, Nico Poro, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So it deals slightly more damage, like 10-20% more damage than the Snowman Cannon. Faster rate of fire, same crit. Strong knockback. It's still a material. It says boom. Right click to fire a nuke. Rockets will destroy tiles with tile destroying ammo. Yeah. Do we lose the homing missiles? I hope not. I love the homing missiles. And the fact that these don't hurt you if you base plant into the rockets. Well, we'll have to get a spare snowman cannon just in case. Wild spore sack. I don't see us. I, I don't see us using that, but I'll put it here just in case. Sell those. What's this? Plantera musk. Beautiful. Lovely. No notes. Uh, so the grenade launcher only makes this. Let's put that away for now. Uh, Venus Magnum only makes this monstrosity. 83 range damage, and it's quite fast. That's not bad, though. It's also a high-velocity bullet. That's cool. It's, like, not quite a sniper rifle. Where are the clockwork assault rifles? Here they are. So we're only missing... Life alloy, and we know where to get exopla uh, ectoplasm. Alright, what's this? Nettle burst? I think that's vanilla. Ignores 10 points of enemy defense, magic damage. Oh, this goes through walls, doesn't it? Yeah, so this is an upgraded vile thorn, which is not that great compared to calamity stuff. Uh, I don't need another mechanical battery. What else have we got? Ooh, wasp gun. Hell yeah. Do the wasps get upgraded by... The hive pack? Increases the strength of friendly bees. It doesn't look like it. It's a material now. The Swarmer. Bee gun plus wasp gun plus vortex fragments. Six mana fires a swarm of bees and wasps. 57 magic damage. Okay then. Um, let's put away these bars. What's this? Robotic skull. Isn't he adorable? Uh, Seedler, that's also vanilla, and it goes into the Zenith as well. Looks like there's nothing unusual about this. Venus Magnum goes with the Clockwork Assault Rifles. Uh, we got a Pygmy Staff? I thought we'd buy those. Or do we buy him post-Plantera? Well, um, I like the uh, Sanguine Staff better anyway. But I'll put that in the Summoner Stuff. Skeletron Prime, we've already got a relic somewhere. Is that everything? Did we get all the drops from Plantera? Uh, loot and collection. We didn't get the leaf blower. The axe. I think I saw the axe. Yeah. If we get stellar tune, we can make the face melt. <laughs> I might go for that when we've got the other prerequisite for it. Flower Cow, I think I remember that being 
um, goes into a super powered mace. Thorn hook? That's just a grappling hook, I think. Music. Seedling. Oh, that's a pet, right? Bloomstone. What is this? You quickly regenerate life while on the ground. Best during daytime. Flowers grow if you are standing on grass. Random dye plants will grow while standing on grassless dirt. That's different. Um, I do remember the leaf blower. It's not that big of a deal. It is a material, though. Wait, what? How do I... How, how do I see what it makes? Right-click? No. Left-click gets rid of it. Leaf blower. Plus razor pine. Makes what? Surely not one of these. What? That's not the button I meant to press. Leaf. Huh? Why is... Does it have to be capitalized? No? Why is it like this? Middle click. Leaf blower. It, what? Do I have to get rid of that? There we go. So, missile storm. Missile storm? <laughs> Razor pine plus leaf blower plus whatever these are. Cast a storm of pine needles and leaves. That's probably not going to be that great. Blossom flux? I don't remember this bow. Oh, that's calamity mod. Seems pretty weak at this point. Right click to fire a spore orb that explodes into a cloud of spore gas. And it turns into a cooler bow later on. I'm not going to worry about any of these for now. What, what about the bloomstone? Oh yeah, I remember this. Alright, I think we've got everything we want blum, blum? from Plantera for now. What about the living shards? We can make Terra arrows. 250 per shard, that's quite a lot. Travels incredibly quickly and explodes into more arrows when it hits a certain velocity. 25 range damage. Uh, that seems good. Terra Bullet, 15 range damage. That seems bad. Explodes and splits into homing Terra Shards on death. I... That might be pretty good, actually. So it's the same damage as the Crystal Bullet that it's an upgrade from. 100... Only 100 per Living Shard, so we could make... Uh, 10,000? We could make one stack. Do I really have exactly 99 of these living shards? It seems like it. Um, miracle fruit. I still don't know where to get life alloy. Siren proof earmuffs. Favorite this item to prevent Anahita from spawning near you. That sounds weird. Not worried about these swords, to be honest. We can make the Terra Blade with this? Or we need this to make the Terra Blade? True Knight's Edge or True Blood Edge, Bloody Edge. True Excalibur. Well, I'm not going to worry about that until we're trying to make the... Uh, 
the final sword. Plantation Staff, 78 summon damage. A miniature Plantera, fires seeds, spiky balls, spell clouds from afar to poison targets, enrages when you get low on health and begins ramming enemies, occupies three minion slots and there can only be one. There are some cool summons with the Calamity mod. But I think I'm going to try making arrows and or bullets out of this. Hmm. So we have a damage boost at point blank and at long range with those arrows. Don't the cursed arrows deal... 30 range damage, that's going to be hard to beat. Alright, I'll just put these here for now. And think about it. Who's next on the chopping block? We still haven't had the eclipse. At this rate, I'll have to go to the jungle temple to get the eclipse. And I don't know where it is yet. We could do the Frost Moon and or uh what's the word I'm looking for? Frost Moon and the Pumpkin Moon. Let's do the Frost Moon. I want that rocket launcher. Also, there's the dungeon, the post Plantera dungeon. I should probably go Summoner for that. Summoner is by far the strongest in the dungeon. Because there's all these enemies that, if you scratch them, they go from being incredibly dangerous to not dangerous at all for a little while. Alright, but first, I kind of want that rocket launcher, so let's do the pumpkin moon. I should have prepared for this earlier. Um, I need pumpkin seeds, which are a material. Pumpler, 30 range damage. Hold left click to load up to 5 pumpkin grenades into the gun. Does extra damage to enemies at point blank. Illegal gun parts, pumpkins, and pumpkin seeds. Okay, it's a bit late for that, but that would have been amusing. Um, how about we see what these NPCs are selling? Astral, Sunken, Sulfuric, Abyss, Water Fountains. Can't say I'm excited about that. Vial of Venom, that's actually really, really good. Uh, Venom Arrows are kind of like Cursed Arrows, but better. We can get Venom Bullets as well. Were those always a thing, or is that Calamity mod? I don't remember these. Um, but yeah, these arrows are excellent, and we don't have to farm for them. We can just buy the ingredients. So, while we're here, let me just grab quite a lot of... Oh, that's way more than I expected. That'll be enough Vial of Venoms, probably, for the entire playthrough. We could also get the Tiki Armor, which is really, really good uh, for Summoner. Plus three, plus four minions, I think it is. And plus like 15% minion damage. I'll probably take that into the dungeon. What are you selling? Anything I care about? Digging mole cart. We'll dig blocks and lay new track if mine carrying minecart tracks. I remember this. I think I only saw it on the wiki. I've never actually used this. Only digs when underground. So it's like Fal for the uh for laying rail in Terraria. Uh, 
cause it to change how trees look. Interesting. Little Plantero? Alright. What else are people selling now? Probably nothing here. Let's do a fishing quest as well. Caught in Sunken Sea. Alright. What are you selling? Uh, auto hammer, of course. And the mushroom spear is sort of good. You can stick stick it through walls. But it's not calamity good. What's that? Polyp launcher. Alright. Um, I didn't try using the life drain at any point. Whoops. I should try that when I'm playing mage again as well. Any enemies here? Not that I can see. Let's grab our fishing gear. Hope we don't die. And... Go. Planty mush. I think I saw that as an ingredient somewhere. Yeah, to make the life root. Fathom Swarmer Greaves. 15 defense, movement speed increased by 40%. While submerged in liquid. Huh, that might have been good before. Grants the ability to swim, 4% increased minion damage. And then we've got breastplate, 22 defense, this is 15. Is, was this available before? Is this what we needed to go into the abyss? 6% Increased damage reduction, as in we take less damage. 6% increased minion damage. Uh, boosted defense and regen increased while submerged in liquid. Reduces defense loss within the abyss. And then provides breathing and light underwater, 5% minion damage. 10, 22, 15. Is that more than the Tiki set? Whatever the case, I might take that into the abyss. How much do we need? As far as plenty mush goes, I think we've already got enough. Don't seem to be finding the other prerequisites here. We're not getting a quest fish either. What time is it? 11.32pm. We've got like five minutes. I need to plant pumpkin seeds as well. Abyssal crate might offer us the other stuff that we need for that armor. Alluring bait was that? Oh yeah, I've got one of those. I'm using one right now. It gives us 45 increased fishing power during the night, 60 during a solar eclipse. Greatly increases chance of catching potion ingredient fish. Nice. I don't think we're getting our quest fish. This is the place we have to go, right? The Sulfuric Sea? I do wish the uh, depth meter would tell us that that's the biome we're in. I don't think it tells us when we're in the ocean either, to be fair.
another abyssal crate. I don't think we're getting our quest fish from here. What is that? It it gave I, I had text over it. What is it saying? I can't quite catch it. Uh Mesimir Kalovic. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow. What is that? Oh, I can I can literally see like one frame of that text showing up and it's two relatively long words that I am unfamiliar with, I think. Well, I don't think this fishing trip is paying off, except that we got three abyssal crates. So maybe we'll get Maybe we'll find out at least that the Abyssal Crates can give us the materials for that rather attractive set of swimming uh, summoner gear, specifically for the Abyss. Alright, that's enough of that I think. Let's go back. I'll put the Abyssal Crates in here. Um, and we'll open them when we've got a few more with a luck potion. Hercules Beetle needs a necromantic scroll to upgrade it. That comes from Morning Wood, which we'll be doing soon. You can also stack the Hercules Beetle with a Paradipus Scarab, kind of like the... Uh, Sharktooth Necklace with its upgraded version, so that you could have two of these effectively. Okay. I think we'll put the... The Vial of Venom is only good for Flask of Venom and various types of ammo, so I'll put that here. I still haven't planted the Pumpkins, let's do that. We've got lots of forest over here. Fantastic. We don't need that many pumpkins, but I'd rather have more than we need. I think we can also put them in the hallow. I should probably look at feeding uh, Empress of Light soon as well. Definitely before I fight another boss that requires lots of flying, like the Moon Lord. Still got 82 pumpkin seeds, we're not gonna run out. Oh, I accidentally got a strange plant as well. All right, let's go plant the rest of the seeds over at the Hallow. I still need to make a proper NPC home here. I feel bad about it. Kind of. Where can I fit pumpkins? was what 150 pumpkin seeds I'm sure that'll give us enough pumpkins 
Uh, where's our die trader? There you go. Phase die. That might look cool. Oh my goodness. That might be a bit much. What if we put phase die on it? Oh my lord. That's a bit much as well. What light pet do I have? This guy. I never use light pets anymore because I've got shine potions. Um, I might put the auto hammer here. And what's this? Planty mush. We need to put that with the depth cells. Abyss. Okay, hard mode calamity chest, I think. Do we have depth cells? I don't think so. I don't see any green text here. Ashes of Calamity, that's the only green text. Maybe you can get the green things with a bug net? Oh, good point. Uh, I'm guessing they're only there at night time. But if I'm wrong about that, we're about to find out. Oh, he's still... I still have the phase die on the pet. Looks kind of wild, honestly. Yeah, I think we have to come here at night to... Oh? Uh-oh. Uh, hello? Okay, we can't get them while they're underwater, at least. I'll definitely try it next time. I'm here on the surface, and they're coming up above it. We don't need any more alluring bait or any of this stuff. Whoops. We've got the post-plantera. That might be fun, actually. Actually, w that might be horrible. Let's find out. We've got the uh, post-plantera Eternia crystal we can do now. Let's see, we're wearing ranged gear. We've got the adamantite particle accelerator. That's still probably the best for hitting everything in a row. I definitely won't forget to disable this thing this time. So that we don't fall down here while we're fighting the... Oh, I forgot the bloody sentry. It's fine, the sentries are super weak, honestly. Like, even with minion gear and everything... The sentries don't do as much as you would think for like a hybrid tower defense type thing. got like 30 seconds now. Uh, I guess the the list of rod isn't going to pull its weight anyway. Since it's like the lowest tier sentry that we can get. don't have any sanguine bats either. There we go. You know what? Let's make it two. I should put sentries 
nice and close to here. At least a few of them. When do we get to upgrade the Rod of Discord? Probably not for a while. Yeah, definitely, like, probably post-Moon Lord. And we can bind a key- uh-oh. This looks like we can bind a key to just teleport without using up a weapon slot. because we've got a round number. I should probably check if there's a titanium weapon as well, since this thing is still super relevant. Well, assuming we have a bunch of targets to pierce, it's quite relevant. This is probably where it raises the stakes a bit. The bats are just too strong, especially with uh, Yarim's stimulants. Going for this thing. There we go. Rip. We let one through. Unforgivable. And a couple more sentries. Razor Blade's way better for that. Probably the uh, Rainbow Rod would be good. No, not as strong for that, I think. Except that we have more control to make sure it goes up there. Brand of the Inferno I mentioned before is from one of the enemies in those events, by the way. Oh, these events? The, uh, the tower defense? Dungeon defender-ish events? Uh, what am I doing? More sentries. Alright, here we go. I'm not going to mess around with the uh, bosses. Oh wow, that was quick. 
Mostly because they're going to be a distraction while other stuff creeps up on us. Oh, that's it. I guess we don't have... What is it, Betsy? I thought Betsy showed up after Plantero. Maybe it's post-Moon Lord. So we still just have the 25 Defender medal, uh, Medals that we can get in one run there. This goes here. Alright then. Specifically Ogre, which you're seeing now. Okay. I think maybe... Because I'm not seeing certain drops from the Ogres, uh, like the Relic. I think maybe we need the the final version that can drop... Uh, that sends Betsy at us before we can get those drops, maybe? Oh, we got random pumpkins. How many do we need? Uh, for the pumpkin moon medallion, we need 30. Also, Pumpler is not the only weapon we can make with it. Casts flaming pumpkins. So we need like 20, 50, 80. The rest is furniture, I think. There's also the uh, pumpkin armor. Pumpkin pie. If you have the uh, the seasonal event, this is actually like the best early, easy to make food that you can get. Alright, um, let's go get some pumpkins then. I might use the Staff of Rebirth. Gimme, gimme. Get the nice, fully grown ones. Ogres actually have lower drop rates in the final version of the old ones events, really. Oh, this is... I think it's doing the thing where it doesn't take stuff that isn't mature. Which I thought it would I, I thought this would work on day bloom that is on the grass. Maybe it was because I was pointing directly at it. I was doing that wrong. That is so nice and easy. Alright, how many pumpkins do we have? Only 245. That seems like it's probably enough. We need illegal gun parts, five pumpkin seeds, and some stars, and anvil. Oh, we need ectoplasm for the pumpkin moon. Okay, what about the frost moon? Uh... Naughty present. Also requires ectoplasm. Alright then, we're going into the dungeon. And the pumpkins, I guess I'll put in here. Here here is fine, I guess. Oh, that's a lot of slimes. Why do we have so many slimes? Because slime is falling from the sky. I missed the message. to kill Gollum before you fight Betsy. Okay. I think I'd like to go into post Plantera dungeon first. There's no need to fight King Slime. I already have the Slime Crown to summon him anyway. Alright. Put away this one wooden arrow. I actually can't. 
Uh, I think I'll save the Holy Arrows. Let's use Venom Arrows as our standard, which are actually super strong. And do I need an anvil? Yep. There we go. Why don't we make another stack while we're here? Oh, I painted this brown before so it wasn't noticeable, but now it is. Oh well, it's fine. Venom arrow. Fantastic. Stack it away. I forgot to make the other pumpkin things. So we wanted illegal gun parts. Which I think I put in here. No? I know I bought a bunch, just so that I wouldn't have to chase them at some point. Illegal gun parts. Uh, where could they be? Uh oh. If I were... Oh, here it is. I was going to say, if I were me in the past and I was stashing illegal gun parts, where would I put them? We didn't make the flamethrower yet I, either. We need solar fright and iron bars. And the flamethrower becomes a material for something else that's cool. Which was... Terra Flamethrower. Oh, we can make that right now. Living Shard and Essence of Sunlight. I think those are both in here. Let's make sure. No, I put the Living Shards down here, didn't I? Because I was going to use them as ammo. Essence of Sunlight. Terra Flame Burster. 80% chance to not consume gel. Wow. 71 range damage and it's still a material. Uh, it becomes this thing. We combine it with the Meow Thrower. Blight Spewer, which is just a drop. Havoc's Breath, which is just a drop. Galactic Singularity and Illuminite Bar. How much deeps do we get out of this? With one row, 5.7k. It's about the same... oh. Yeah. That looks like Cursed Flame though. It doesn't last very long. Weird. So compare that to Meow Thrower. I'm pretty sure Meow Thrower is just way better, partly because. If, okay, for starters, it's more damage. It is unreal, but still. It's definitely more damage. But also, Meow Thrower can hit all of these at once. And this one can't really? I guess it can, kind of. It's way less. It has way less uh, width to it. I should probably still be using the Meow Thrower while I'm unranged instead of the bubble gun. Definitely. Let's put this away. Wait. What am I putting away? 
Bubble gun. Where did I just put it? Whoops. So we basically just have utility spells right now. Uh, let's see. I made that. I was gonna make the pumpkin weirdness. Harvest stuff. 37 range damage casts fly. Amazing. Beautiful. No notes. That's going in the collection. What about the pumpkin... the pumpler? We need five pumpkin seeds. Oh, and we have the, uh, the cyborg now. I should really figure out where their home is supposed to be. Give them a proper place to live. Oh, it's like, uh, it kind of reminds me of the Unreal Rocket Launcher. But not. So you have to hold it down for a bit anyway, even if you only want to fire one shot. It's rather slow. So you may as well load up five shots. And then it forces you to fire after, or after a little bit. Yeah. How much damage is it? 30. That would have been a lot of fun if we noticed it early, I think. Oh, and I wanted to check... I think I probably did check this before, but... Does Titanium make a cool gun as well? Titanium Repeater. Oh, that's... No, that's the bow. Dup. Titanium Chainsaw? That's a chainsaw. Uh, Trident... Doesn't do the water thing. Pirates are approaching. That's nice of them. Um, titanium Railgun. Here we go. 459. Oh, wow. Longer hold time increases power, leading to more damage, size, and knockback. Power is capped when the cannon's sights have fully converged. Hold down to charge up a decimating titanium blast. I think I'm going to like this better than what we're using right now. Uh, crystal shards. We've got just enough. Titanium... Railgun. Let's re-roll this thing before the pirates get here. No, I can't use it! No! Alright, fine. We'll use it with murderous. Do we have time for the DPS meter? How long can I hold this down? I guess as long as I like. All right. It's probably not as good for continuous damage. Actually. This thing... Probably much better for just spamming a lane. Maybe the bubble gun would be good to have handy. And again, the bow damage. I might stick with this gun for this purpose yet. I don't know. Let's try this again. Yeah, it's higher impact, but less deeps. Significantly less deeps. And we lose the suppression of hitting things all the time. So I think the adamantite version is actually better overall by far. Maybe the railgun would be nicer here. We get sure of a shot. Really? I think this one's still better overall. 
Let's not die because we're messing around too much. I think I just triggered... No, I didn't. I put away the, uh... The massive spawn of the Zerg potion. you kind gentlemen drop a discount card per chance? Oh, hello merchant, standing up here where the pirates could get you. Probably because you died somehow a minute ago. Let's put our deeps meter back. See what we got. No discount card, no coin gun, feels bad, man. We're probably already past the point where the coin gun would be any good, even when we use gold ammo. Yeah, this weapon is cool, but... doesn't fill the same niche as well. 575 range damage versus... I mean, if both of these hit and then we get a bonus, it's probably almost as much. But on the other hand... Okay, that was rude. I was... Could you not see? I was trying to test fire this thing on a poor little slime. Where enemy? I don't know, but the guide has arrived. Also, I think we have the means to activate this thing, but I just haven't done it yet. I can't remember... I think it had to be night time? And... Wait, does that do what I think it does? It does, it knocks us back. That's cute, but it's one more reason not to use it. much more difficult to use in general. Can we mine this? Nope. Strange plant. Shadow die. Darkness blacker than black. That actually kind of fits pretty well with what we're wearing right now. I'm gonna hold on to this for a minute. Alright, let's put these toys away. And Stardust. It wasn't Stardust, it was Titan Heart, I think. Maybe we needed more than one? Oh, there's no room here for the rest of this pirate crap. Alright, that's fine, I'll just sell it. And make sure this is empty. Nowhere close.
Figgy is a material? Oh, we can, we can make bacon or put it in a cage. Let's just sell it. I guess the titanium railgun can go here. Looks kind of cool. Alright, can we focus? What were we trying to do before the pirates showed up? We want to go to the dungeon, right? We need to before we can do the frost moon or the pumpkin moon. And summoner is best for dungeon. So let's put our ear away. And we're going to go tiki armor for the dungeon. Did I not buy it? Okay, good. It doesn't have to be night time. I did buy a couple of these. That is a dirtling. I need to talk to the robot, the cyborg, that is. I think we have to talk to him at night. Oh, that's, that's in vanilla anyway. To get Rocket 3, we need to talk to him at night time. He sells dry rockets? Huh. Oh, cool. Wow. That's... That's more chlorophyte uh, than I thought this... I didn't think it had spread this much. Uh, I think it's about time we harvest it. Nanites are kind of good. Oh, they make all kinds of things now. Laser machine gun gets upgraded. That's so cool. What's this? Rogue damage. Not too interested in that. Shock grenade. Okay, that sounds kind of neat. Plague Reaper mask. Necro helmet gets upgraded? We need Plague Cell Canister. It's only 9 defense? What the hell? How much defense is... I'm not wearing... I'm not wearing armor right now. Let's... Let's not... Right, right this second. Alright, Tiki armor. Let's put away our range specific stuff. Um... Maybe we'll hold on to the sh... We're gonna need to make more room. But plus minions. Maybe I just won't dash. Uh, I'll be swapping out the Brain of Confusion for the Ninja Gear as soon as we get it. Probably not the Ink Shield, I just needed that to ignore knockback against Plantera. How many plus minion things do we have here? We got plus one minion, plus one minion, plus damage. Oh no, this is just damage and knockback. Uh, we got minion damages. I need to re-roll them. I think we've got a better plus minion damage thing somewhere. What about these? Max minions by one and minions inflict shadow flame? Hell yes, I've been waiting to try this out. How's heart? Oh, that's right. <laughs> um, are we gonna do this? I don't like these elementals, they're so, I don't know, distracting. Didn't we have more than one type of them though? Yeah, we got brimstone, we got a uh, sand elemental, and we need a bunch more stuff before we can combine them. Why does this one have a winky face? Is it so that we could have two of these? Ah, 
Oh, this one heals you, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, fine, we'll try them. Except they take up so many slots. I want to use these three as well. There's four accessories here I want to use without the elementals. I definitely am not going without wings or boots. I would prefer not to go without the brain of confusion. So we have one, two, three, four slots we can use. I want to use these four. And or these. Hmm. I'm, I'm really curious to see what the, uh, what these elementals are like. Let's put the menacing shield in there. Yeah, I might have to go without a dash just for a little while. But we gain so much. Oh, this is a material as well, I forgot. Okay, we need what this upgrades into and this. And we need holy water and core of sunlight. That's not for a minute. I really want to see what the shadow flame thing is like. Right? Max minions by one. Shadow flame. It's also a material. It combines with the thing that I was just looking at making. Okay. Um, I don't know. It has to be one or the other, right? I think we're going with the first Shadow Flame no matter what. So let's do this. We want probably Menacing, if not Warding. Warding will do. We've got a bit of a lack of defense to make up for as summoner. Uh, in which case, I should probably take out the menacing brain in a jar. Brain of confusion, sorry. Now we're up to 73. We need to re-roll these elementals. Preferably warding. I'll take menacing. Menacing. And menacing. I guess we're going for plus 12% damage on these three. And on all of our stuff for that matter. Um, I don't mind what I'm carrying for... Direct weapons. It would be nice if there was a summon weapon that was like the thing that's similar to magic missile but goes through walls. Where was it? Also, what did I just see? This? I think there's a bunch of these lying around. Elemental in a bottle. That's what we've got here. Yeah, there's three of these. Get in here. Oh, what's that? Fungal clan? No. Alright.
I guess for the moment at least these will stay here. And we'll get our max minion count up. What is it, by the way? We got plus four from the set, plus five, plus five. So six, seven in total with the station buff. Cool. We could go Sanguine Bats for the longs. Should be pretty funny with the knockback. But before we do, we definitely want these two. Uh, we could go five more bats. We could go for Blackhawk remotes. And how about two bats? That should be pretty difficult for anything to touch us, honestly. Alright, and I'll get... Oh, I'll put these away. Don't really need our boss fight potions. We do need summoner potions handy. And I think that'll do. Uh, I didn't even find that weapon I was looking for, but it's from before hard mode. And it throws out some eye-looking thing, and it actually goes through... It's like a summoner magic missile. Um, it, it's a homing missile that goes through walls and deals summon damage. Kind of OP for the summoner, maybe. What is that? Oh, it's just a hell armored bones. I'm not seeing these elementals doing anything. Oh, that's what you're doing. Okay, fair enough. What about you, sand elemental? This paladin is just getting tickled to death and not attacking us at all. Oh, oh, that's what the Sand Elemental is doing. Just covering the screen in this crap. I feel like the little minions are more reliable, honestly. There's so much going on right now. Ow. Maybe I should raise a blade typhoon down there. So I just concentrate on movement. Uh, I'm surprised a paladin spawned at this depth. I guess calamity maybe changes it? What is that green? Oh, that heals us. I think. Maybe? It gives a little regen buff or something. Yes. Ow. Still gotta be a bit... You know what? In a way, this is trickier because I, there's so much going on, I'm not noticing what I need to dodge. I think I am gonna prefer the regular little minions. Honestly. We got our first bone lee, and there's our black belt. Let's go. I'm gonna try throwing out the elementals. Get out of here. And we're gonna go for plus minion damage, plus minion count, plus minion damage. So our regular minion count is now 1, 2, 6, 7, 8. And plus lots of damage. 
Let's re-roll the accessories. Um, Inferno Fork is now a material. Don't know where to get that stuff. Staff of Necros... Oh, we've got a million of these. Yeah, those little skeletons didn't seem very reliable. Uh, what was I trying to re-roll this stuff? Give me boarding or menacing. That's okay, I guess. And we've got warding, warding. All right, cool. Dark Meeking. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Throwing a party. Fantastic. How much bacon do we have? Only 37. This is alarming. Uh, let's buy Pig Granata. That was maybe more than I meant to buy, but it's fine. And find somewhere to put them. This is not working. I don't have room. Uh, can we put them here? We can. There we go. Hello, hope you're doing well today, Jimbo Panda. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Uh, is it possible I bought too many pig granatas? Surely not. I'm just going to hydrate while we do this. Bitrate's doing surprisingly well with that. Yeah, we've got uh, surprisingly good internet here, which uh, was not the case a few years ago. Very, especially in Australia, um, I'm very lucky that I can do this. Hopefully I don't need to be as lucky in the future. Everyone's name is Orange. Rust Panda, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Not sure, but removing frame cap in options might speed up the process. Video frame skip is off. Uh Yeah, 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 it's it's already off. Oh wait, am I thinking of that backward? Let's try frame skip on... Does that mean the game speed continues as normal even if we lose frames? Alright, just... about... 90 seconds of this to go, I suppose. How much bacon do we have now? Almost 80? Fantastic. And quite a lot of flasks of party and party bullets. Also, we got yet more cake.
almost a hundred bacon by the time we're done here, I think. Are we going to get to 100 or what? It's a bit random. Oh, we got three all of a sudden. Yeah, suddenly we have 100 bacon. Fantastic. Okay, let's sort out our inventory. We did get the paladin shield already. And the paladin hammer. Oh my lord. It's a material now. Fallen Paladin's Hammer. Combine it with the Ponage Hammer, which we've got. Ashes of Calamity, which we've got. These two things, which I haven't seen yet. Alright, we'll put that away for now. Traveling Merchant has arrived. Uh, Inferno Fork can go in here, I guess. Mask of Party. Beautiful. Very important. I, and we're just spraying confetti everywhere with our minions? Oh my goodness. Um, what minions should I use at this stage? I definitely want the solar and sanguine some sanguine bats. Blackhawk seems good to be honest. How much damage was Blackhawk though? Like 40, 66. Oh, Tempest Staff. Yeah, let's fill out the rest with Tempest Staff after the, uh, after we've got a handful of hit everything easily minions. So, what was our maximum... Ca I wish we could see this somewhere easily. Um, so, it's 1, 2, plus 4 is 6, 7, 8. Uh, I believe our maximum is 8 minions. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then let's do a couple of... Tempest Staffs. I think I want more Tempest star, uh, staves, to be honest. Tempest star. Whoops. I thought that this was the sixth. Wait, it is, isn't it? Yeah, Ruthless. There we go. I actually have over a hundred damage with the Tempest stuff. Uh, I don't think I've got the... Oh, Katana's a... Katana is a material. Let's grab one. And I want the Dynasty stuff. For when we build a nice house or two. I particularly like to put the Dynasty roofs on the Wizard Tower. Also... We need to combine... Oh, I didn't get Tabai yet, did I? Uh, Black Belt plus Tiger Climbing Gear plus Tabai makes Master Ninja Gear. Master Ninja Gear plus Frog Gear plus Purified Gel plus... I don't know where to get fan uh, Phantoplasm. Gives us the same stuff. And also the ability to swim. Jump speed, constant jumping, and it's still a material good lord. So really it's just jump speed at that point, as far as I'm concerned. Um, where are we putting... Where's my tiger climbing gear? Here we go. Nope, that's just shoe spikes. I think I was able to craft the tiger. Yeah, here it is. Tiger climbing gear. 
put it in with the shoe spikes and stuff. It should be relatively easy to find. Uh, why didn't I put this away? Who knows? Paladin's shield requires a frozen turtle shell. That's going to be rather difficult to get unless Calamity has something to say about it. Nine essence of a loom and three turtle shells. That's super easy. Frozen shell is still a uh, material. Or we can make hero shield. We need flesh knuckles. 20 defense. Wow. Max life up. Immunity to knockback. And it tanks damage for other players. Alright. Um, that's something to consider for later. Especially if I want to go melee at some point. Speaking of which, have a katana. And... I should probably... Uh, it's fine. I should probably hold on to these golden keys. I think I can just buy them now. Can't I? I think I've opened all of the gold chests, actually. We got ectoplasm. How much do I need? I only need five for the pumpkin moon. Five for the naughty present. We've already got enough for that. And then we need it at scale for anything else, I think. Nice. Let's make that while we are looking at it. I think this is a decent spread of minions. It's so hard to tell what we've got, honestly. Looks like two bats, two... Two of everything, basically. What's our maximum? Eight. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think. I'm, I'm just going to have to kill all of my summons and start over to know what I've got. Where should I put this slice of cake, I wonder? What was I going to do? Oh yeah, the frost moon. Okay, we need pumpkins, gold bars, silver bars, and silk. Got some silk here. Gold and silver bars. Tungsten will be fine. Uh, Just Jack, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where did I put those pumpkins? Here they are. Welcome, raiders. Erisius Mogon, welcome, welcome. Neo Deus Machina and Just Jack. Good to see you again. How was your stream today? Oxygen not included. Fantastic. Alright, let's make the naughty present. And the pumpkin moon medallion. And absolutely love the fact that we never have to craft these again. We'll do that after doing a bit more dungeon. Uh, so it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... I can go to nine minions with a summoning potion. So, one, uh, two, three, let's make it four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful. It was good, not a lot of progression, but my great haul turned out great nice let's go get those uh dungeon things oh i have a portal wait why did it send me back here i guess i set this as my spawn point by accident all right that's fine 
away we go. Just an absolute mess of pixels everywhere. Perfect. Yeah, I think this is better than the elementals, honestly, especially in the dungeon. So I'm looking for... oh, here he is, another Bone Lee. I'm looking for Tabai dropped from him. I gotta remember I don't have dash for the moment. Essence of Chaos. It feels weird not having dash now. I used to play without dash at all. Well, there was no dash for a long time in Terraria. The confetti as well. Sparkly reminds me of that game where everything is made of pixels and they can all be destroyed, etc. I can't remember the name. Noita. I haven't played that. Yeah, I kind of have uh, nine minions and flask of party active at the moment. So there are more than a few colourful pixels on the screen. Just, just a few. This uh, may result in a larger video file than usual. Maybe I should stop it. Are we about over the novelty of the flask uh, of party? Or should we keep it going? We got a sniper rifle? Did we get Tabai yet? Not really. Barbecue ribs. Just as good as bacon. Nice. It was never amusing to begin with? Wow. Okay, I see how it is. Uh, where even is Flask of Party? There we go. Weapon imbued confetti. Disagree? It's fine. I thought it was weird that the uh, weapon imbue had all of the minions just dropping confetti just as they float around as well. This is quite effective to say the least. Yeah, the, uh, the little jets don't do a whole lot damage-wise, but the fact that they tap everything through walls... or well, they just... they only tap one target at a time, so maybe I should just have one jet. Might be optimal that way. But it's such a pain to change, so I'll do that next time. How's our ectoplasm? 32. Whoops. Can we get a tab eye drop, please? Paladins have an awful lot of health. Lee when you need him. So, if everything spawns at this depth uh, in Calamity in the dungeon, does that mean we can just stay here? There's the tabo. Alright, let's go. Brain of Confusion. Friendship ended with Brain of Confusion. Now, Ninja... Master Ninja Gear is my bestie. Now, dodge cooldown goes down to 90 seconds, and the same accessory gives us a dash. Fantastic. Dinidni? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Tabai is not... Is that not... R Wait, what? Is that not only only? Yes. So you're not running magic storage? Uh, no, I'm not. Let's re-roll... Wait, can we already upgrade this at all? We need phantoplasm, so no. I'm looking for warding or menacing. I'll probably make another pair of this. Um, so that I have a warding set as well. Sniper rifle is a material as well, that's cool. I'll put it away for now. Usually I'd... last time I was like, oh, sniper rifle, cool, great, but I never really ended up using it much, even when I played ranged. Partly because the homing missiles can be... the homing bullets can be a bit derpy and slam into the... Gr didn't I make bone wings already? Without a bone feather? Whatever. Just put that there for now. The magnet sphere is a material? Magnetic meltdown. Spectra staff plus magnet sphere plus this weird stuff. Launches a diamond cross of supercharged magnetic spheres. Wow. That sounds pretty over the top. Sounds cool. Let's put our ectoplasm in the vanilla hard mode stuff chest. My experience with magic storage is it makes things where you have to right click in your inventory to get stuff not work. Is that so? Inferno fork. Shadow jousting lance. Uh, whatever. I'll just stash the barbecue ribs. I'm probably never going to use these because we can get bacon in large quantities. How much is left on our summoning potion? Zero? Already? Oh well. Oh, that's perfect, actually. I did say I wanted just one jet. Because it's not good for damage, but it's good for suppressing something through a wall. And here we are, with one jet. So, is there anything else I want from the dungeon at this point? Is there anything that I have to go deeper to get? So you sell vanity items to save space? I have different chests for the vanity items. The uh, dyes and stuff are all in a bunch of chests where the die trader is. I'm not even firing. These guys are quite effective. Alright, how much ectoplasm do I need to save up to get all the things, I wonder? Let's put down a banner. Fantastic. So nice having dash and dodge on the same accessory slot now. you missed my text? Do I have a vanity chest? Yes. Yes. Or six of them, if it comes to that.
Have you got any of the, like, dev sets from bags in those chests? Uh, yes. I got, I think, two of those, uh, vanity sets. Or are we talking about the... the ones from Vanilla, or... the ones that are from Calamity, I think. Tactical Skeleton! No shotgun. Feels bad. I don't know if the tactical shotgun would be better than the tsunami, though. Might be better with homing bullets against really hard to hit bosses. Probably not overall. We got the rocket launcher. I don't really care about the rocket launcher, to be honest. Although we do need it to upgrade... Uh, I think it's Rocket Launcher, Grenade Launcher, Snowman Cannon. Makes some kind of upgrade. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Makes some kind of upgraded... Um, rocket Launcher type thing. Hopefully, like the snowman cannon, it doesn't blow up in your face. And hopefully it has homing missiles, because... I might just prefer the snowman cannon, if it doesn't. I keep meaning to go deeper into the dungeon, but there's always some target to chase. Let's just go. I'll pick that stuff up up there. This thing has no chance of damaging me. Alright. There is one set... I am looking for, if you have it, that would be really great. Uh, I'll have a look for it. Let me get back. I've got at least two tabai right now, that's good. We also need the other thing that Bone Lee drops, right? Oh, we got two tabai and two black belts, perfect. Here right now. We got Morning Star, fantastic. Actually, to be honest, I don't really feel like in hard mode, I don't really feel the whips are worth it necessarily. Um, maybe in slot one, though, probably be better than the Meow Throw I'm not using. I don't like how slow the Morning Star is, though. But it does give the debuff, which is the main thing. Buffing minion damage. If I remember right, Bone Lee drops one of the two every time. That wouldn't surprise me too much. Oh, I'm missing that? Because it's going past him? Is that what's happening? Does it have to be, like, a precise range? Or is it just because I don't have line of sight? Is that how that works? I thought webs go through walls. Something... Oh! I was about to say something is damaging me a lot. I should have panicked. Rip in pepperonis. I don't think that star can pass blocks, so some of the whips can, but this one doesn't. That seems bad, honestly. Alright, uh... Where is it? I don't think it's in here. Is this one of the things you're looking for? Andromedon head, legs, and body? 
I think I got two... I, got, I think I got this twice and nothing else, actually. That's one set, but not what I'm looking for. Fair enough. Alright, let's put the Meow Thrower back. And... I don't think we need more than one key brand for the collection. Belongs in a museum, but we've already got one. Rocket Launcher? Now we just need 20 Vortex Fragments. Oh, and the Snowman Cannon. But I'll definitely be getting the Snowman Cannon. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Dinidni? If I'm pronouncing that right. We got the Millionth Shinobi Blade. Oh, there we go. Why is this guy always standing in the corner like this? Light pet, I don't normally use, but this is the best one. Kraken Magnet Sphere. I think I already have one. Whatever, I'll stack it away. How much ectoplasm are we up to? 62? I kind of want like 100, I think, right? Let's see. Oh, that's a... Yeah, I forgot about the alternate recipe for this. Chlorophyte headgear. Well, it has to be the mage version, but still. 6, ectoplasm, 18, plus 9, 27. Uh, is it the same? Yeah. Regardless of which version we want. Spectre bar is half an ectoplasm per bar. And we need... Quite a lot of it, probably. What is that? Abyssal mirror. Light does not reach the depths of the ocean. Significantly reduces enemy aggression, even in the abyss. Stealth generates 30% faster. Or 20% faster. Grants the ability to evade attacks, releasing a cloud of luminal fluid, which dam damages and stuns nearby enemies. Uh, grants a lot of stealth, but has a 90 second cooldown. That's the same cooldown as other dodges and stuff. That's quite cool. Uh, do we want to do the... The Frost Moon? We can't do it during the day, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised we haven't had, uh... What's it called? The, the solar eclipse yet. How good is Firecracker? Uh, can I... Here we go. 70 summon damage. Does this work through walls? Doesn't look like it. Which ones do work through walls? Account name was taken, so I dropped an I. Okay. Well, more to the point, this one's not that slow. Strike. I haven't tried this actually yet. Strike enemies with blazing energy. Blazing energy explodes from enemies hit by summons. I definitely want to see what that looks like. Even if it's not the strongest thing we could be using right now. The feel of it, the speed of it, is much nicer as well. Anything in our chest? Of course there is. We actually got three sets to make the Master Ninja Gear. I've got three sets of spiked shoes. I remember I was able to, uh, to craft... Was it Tiger Climbing Gear, or do I have to make these... I can make the spiked shoes, the shoe spikes. Can I make the climbing claws? How do I... I have to click there. How, how do I... 
No, I want. If I double click this, this goes to here. I can click this and see what this does. But if I... Is this just not craftable? The shoe spikes are, but the climbing claws aren't. The climbing claws aren't. That's weirdly inconsistent. Um... So where do we get it? Climbing claws. There's no... Uh, there's no recipes. Right mouse, double right mouse button, see. Okay, surely something drops it. Um... Or is it only from chests? Are you telling me that despite being able to craft the spiked shoes, I still have to f randomly find climbing claws in a chest somewhere to have another copy of Ninja Gear? Ravna. Let's put these here for now, I guess. We probably don't need this many copies of it. I guess I could fish up uh, crates, but I don't particularly want to do that. Let's put these away. I can't put this away. There we go. And Dynasty Wood. Uh, I did already have the Dynasty stuff. That's fine, I guess. Let's grab these lovely ladybugs. Make sure we don't run out of those. Blue Jay, you may go. Here, Wisp. Didn't I die? Why do I still have all of my summons? It seems quite the mercy. I don't want to bother with the summoning potion, weirdly enough, because... I want my minion count. Not my minion count, but I want to have the same, like, spread of minions. Maybe I should try one of those uh, bossy minions, or both of them actually. I think I have two. Where is it? Where on earth did I put it though? Dormant Brimseeker. No, that's not the one I'm looking for. Entropy's Vigil summons Calamitous and her brothers to protect you. One minion tree takes two minion slots. I think I tried this one and it sucked, actually. But there was another one... ...that I wanted to give a try, maybe. I want something that's gonna hit many targets. When they're all bunched up. I don't think I would have put it in here. It's just accessories. Uh, let's sort this. Slime stuff. Necros. Deocytes. Hornet. Vampire frog. Maybe I should. Nah, uh, Vampire Frog's too weak now. Hermit Crab? Don't think so. These are all weak, except for the Wolfram Controller is a bit different. Hold right click while holding the remote to switch all of your drones into supercharge mode. Stop attacking and focus energy onto you. Regen and defense can be used to heal players by keeping your mouse cursor close enough to them. 
28 summon damage. That's too weak at this point. This is fine, I guess. Alright. Let's go once more into the breach. And... Maybe I should use my buffs this time? Seems like a good idea. Including... one more summon? Hey Meloxel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What boss are we up to? Post fish run? Yes, indeed. Uh, I want to do the pumpkin moon and frost moon yet uh, next. And then we've got Leviathan, I suppose. Oh, it drops fishing potions? That's nice. Uh, I want to get deeper into the dungeon this time. Also, let's go grab whatever money I dropped, I guess. And the all-important grave marker. This is a really weird dungeon layout. We got just this big wide open area and then basically the entire thing is kind of linear from there on. That's a gold chest. I think... I don't know if gold chests ever contain the uh, climbing gear. I think it's always brown chests, right? Or I could be wrong. What is this? I still don't know how to open this. Oh, I almost forgot. We've got all of the... Uh, we've probably got all of the keys to open the biome chests in here. We need the frost key. I've got them all in here. Somewhere. I don't think we do have the frost key. Hallowed, jungle, corruption, crimson. That's quite a haul, though. Oh, and I think there's one more. No, that's the temple key. Alright, onward. I don't think there's any up there. I believe you had a Plantera minion. Oh, yes. Where did I put it then? Ruthless vampire knives. Rapidly throw life stealing daggers. Hell yes. This is a hu uh, I haven't played with them that much, but I understand that this is just a massive reason to have a Crimson World as opposed to Corruption World. Even without upgrading it and without being melee, these things just spam out, fan out, and steal life at no cost of mana or anything like that pretty good way to supplement our damage a little bit as summoner the heals aren't huge I guess but that's like every single knife heals I think. And every single knife hits and suppresses enemies, so that alone is pretty big. Where are we going? I've never actually tried, um... When I did the arena-less run Vanilla Expert, uh... I used a tanky build to beat the Moon Lord as melee. It's not good enough in uh, vanilla in Master, 
but I wonder if it would be with the vampire knives. Probably not. I don't know. Jungle. We got the piranha gun. That is... It's a gimmick, but it's a good gimmick. I like it. It's pretty effective, actually. It's kind of fun. Chest. Thank you. There's one over to the left. That minion knockback though. Hello chest. Give me that rainbow gun. And... What do we got left? Is that all of them? No, corruption key. Wait, there's no corruption chest, is there? I don't think there is. Unless Calamity somehow makes it spawn both. The, uh, the weapon from the corruption chest is quite good, but it's not that exciting. like a pretty good spot, but I would like to move on. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, hello. We need a desert key. I don't think we have one. chests, right? Alright, um... Can we try out the Plantera minion? Let's see if I can find it. And we'll put these in a museum. Aranagun can go there. Uh, what else? I'll hold on to the vampire knives, I think. Do we want ruthless? Probably not. Actually, what's the best roll on this? Can it get speed and crit and stuff? Well, we're gonna find out. It's only six re-rolls to get the best one. Godly. That seems fine. Well, I never actually used it, did I? Okay, so where on earth would I have put... That summon? I think we can start selling Tabai and black belt. Doesn't go into anything else, right? Could, could we clear this? There we go. Tabai, black belt. Doesn't look like it. Is six rerolls a calamity thing? Yeah, it is. It's only six rerolls and it gives you the best. Uh, if there is such a thing, it gives you the best possible roll on an item. 
like uh, Ruthless, if it's a minion, Legendary, if, or Unreal, if that's possible, and so on. I'm just going to sell this to save the trouble. Uh, gold chest, go here, I guess. Quick stack. Don't really need another rocket launcher. Corruption key will probably never get used. Got another four crimson keys. Once again, we're back here at the morning when we want to do one of the nighttime things. Uh, let's see. Okay, let me first check all of these chests thoroughly. Okay, those four are basically empty. There's no way I sold it, right? I don't think so. Maybe I put it in the wrong class's chests. Entropy's Vigil is Calamitous and her brothers. Uh, deep Sea Staff. 79 magic damage. Aquatic Star. Oh, this was... This is probably what I was looking for. For something that'll hit multiple enemies. Probably, hmm, arguably better than the Tempest Staff. We can do a spread with different minions. Didn't didn't I sort this? Yeah, I did. Explosive trap rod. Summons a trap that explodes. Oh, wait, this is from the. Yeah, there. Uh, don't think it's in here. And these are empty, and this is all accessories only. So I did put it somewhere stupid. But where? Where on earth could I have put it? Maybe in the accessories for some reason? That's going to make it so hard to find them. If it is in here. Then again, we've got a lot of duplicates. That makes it kind of easy to look for. I could just kill Plantera again, I guess. Actually, I have a hunch where it might be. Why is a slime hook in here? Okay. Slime hook, get out of here. Um, maybe in here. I think I might have actually sold it or something. Alright. I might do that. I might do Plantera again a little bit later. Let's try the deep sea stuff. Um, get rid of all of these minions and then we can start placing them again. We have a maximum of nine. So I want the Sun God stuff. Uh, two or three bats. That's four. We want one of these. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. That seems probably good. Let's give it a try. So I need a bunch of enemies grouped up to see the effect. That means a hole like this. Ooh, we got the uh, rifle scope. So what are we missing from the dungeon? As far as I can think of, just... Uh, As far as I can think of, just the tactical shotgun, question mark? That can be quite hard to find. We we got the Paladin's hammer and the shield, literally like almost the first enemy we killed in the dungeon. Looks like this is where enemies are going to accumulate, but I bet if I go over there, it's not going to work out that way. Um, the Shadow Flame is quite weak, actually, at this point. It, it's very, very weak, as a matter of fact. As far as I can tell, there's no... Apart from the uh, biome chests, there's no reason to go deeper in the dungeon with Calamity. And up here has the best spots for getting a bunch of enemies to end up stuck together. Although we do have... I should get some wet bombs. Put them above... Put a layer of water above the... Um... Above these holes that the enemies fall into. so I can just stand above them easily. I actually want to see exactly how fast this heals me. There we go. Oh, that was too much. Okay. 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 It's pretty slow, actually. It's really slow. Yeah, it's not all that. I feel like vampire knives might be overrated. If anything, I would expect Calamity to buff them. It's kind of like just having regen, honestly. And only if you can keep up the attacks. On the other hand, it does suppress a number of enemies at the same time, as well. But doesn't the life drain... Uh, doesn't the much more attainable life drain uh, work just as well, if not better? It also hits many things in a cone. And from what I've seen, it can absolutely shred, like, segmented enemies and stuff like that.
Is that enough dungeon for now? Maybe. At least in vanilla, vampire knives are sufficient that you can just sit perfectly still fighting Golem and feel entirely unthreatened. So did Calamity actually nerf them? That's interesting. I've only seen Calamity buff things so far. Oh, except for the Rod of Discord, so there's that. Yeah, being able to use it over and over but take more damage is definitely stronger than having a strict cooldown. It's also, the cooldown is also longer if you wanted to not take damage. Yeah, it looks like the, uh, what is it called? Aquatic Shell or whatever is doing exactly the job that I wanted it to. This is a good spread of minions, I think. There's upgraded vampire knives? Oh, there are two. Empyrean knives, 287 melee damage. And it's basically the same text. More or less. Alright, let's put this stuff away. Can we upgrade the rifle scope already? We need a destroyer emblem. For that we need a... Uh, Eye of the Golem. And that can get upgraded with the Putrid Scent. So I'm going to put it here with the Putrid Scent. Um, I may as well hold on to the summoner stuff while I go to the jungle looking for looking for the temple. Spikes are actually somewhat useful, but I think we've already done everything we want to with them. Let's just quick uh, quick stack them. I think I can. Don't need golden keys, and even if I did, we could buy them. I'm actually kind of sad that I somehow misplaced that one summon. That would have been interesting to see. Or oh, don't tell me I actually sold it. Shadow Beam Staff is a material now. Shadow Bolt Staff. We're not getting those for a while. That's a nice upgrade to the laser rifle at this point, basically. Except we already have that. Blue Armored Bones Banner. Alright. How's our potion duration uh where is it did it already run out i think it did uh this is still a fine spread of minions let's do this all right where would the if i were the temple where would i be Probably here. I think that's where we should look. We do actually have to get into the temple before. Let's, let's take the key. We do actually have to get into the temple before the enemies that would give it away with Potion of Omniscience will spawn, so that won't work. I could, uh... Oh, you know what I could have... I could do, actually. It's a little tad bit expensive, but not really. 
I could use uh, holy arrows to look for it. Then again, why don't I just grab Star Fury if we're doing this? Nope, I've got something better than that. And it does summon damage. And I just realized I could get a even better version of it right now. Uh, trap cane. Sure. Whoops. 106 summon damage. I'll put it here. Put this away for now. And if you spam it like this, it actually hits things quite quickly. But more to the point, it can be used to reveal... ...caverns. Like that. Ah. Uh, I was hoping we would find the, uh, another set of climbing gear there. Or the thing that goes into the climbing gear. Let's stick through here. Whoa, okay, 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 okay. Maybe I should switch to the bubble gun for that slot. Alright, down we go. I'm liking the Shadow Flame in terms of showing where the enemies are. I guess that's just before we pop Omniscience though, so it doesn't really matter. This doesn't work through walls, does it? Nope. here. Yes, I can. Plastic. Now we're stuck. There's the pretty pink biome. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. I meant to scout it with this Four more seconds till I can teleport. Down we go. Yeah, I definitely... The life drain should go here, it's like a utility spell. I'm not really going to use it while I'm not playing mage, I think. Let's grab the bubbles. And as is light. Why don't we just dig down here? Even faster, please. That reminds me, I need to mine out that chlorophyte that's grown from our farms. I do see a strange plant over there. And a chest. What do we have here? Nothing too exciting at this stage. Should go without saying, I suppose. That knockback from the minions, my goodness. This seems like a nice... Well, there's lots of good fishing spots, actually. Come to think of it, I haven't done any fishing in the underground jungle. Uh, there's like one fish that you can only get here. I can't even remember what it is. 
for what it's for. The bubble gun is so good as an off-class weapon. Let's just dig through here. Uh, come to think of it, I need mechanical display forced. That might give away the, uh, the temple. Because of all the traps. Alright, so... Probably, maybe, up in this area? Oh, no, that's not what we're looking for. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Let's not dig into a plantera bulb, that would be bad. get some faster digging. I'm glad I put the Hercules beetle on the opposite side of that. We didn't just lose a minion. There we go. That is a chest. May as well take it. Oh, I'm full. Why am I carrying Defender Medals right now? Uh, quick stack? No? What are we dropping? Silver Bullet? Wooden Arrow? And... Moon Glow Seeds? Can I not plant those? I guess I can't plant them underwater. another chest. Right, you know what, I'm gonna have the discipline to ignore it. I don't have to loot absolutely everything all the time. That's what I'm trying to tell myself. It's fine. Uh, I don't think we're finding the temple in this area. Oh, did we just drop another... Yeah, have a giant tortoise banner. Oh good, a mimic. I was afraid my inventory wouldn't be crying. That is a dead man's chest. What are we dropping? Probably should have kept the temple key in here. Potentially. In the first place. Or maybe even in the safe. Don't need another jewel hook. Uh, get out of here, coffee. Get out of here, moon glow. Never enough cobwebs, kind of. This is fine. Alright, let's teleport to that chest. And then... not. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I was trying to bring up the display to cut the wires and stuff. And I think... I think the auto target that the smart cursor decided that I was trying to open the chest. And we survived because we 
dodged all of those explosions. That's that's what happened. That's cool. Okay. Uh, it's actually about time to finish the stream. That's kind of a good spot to finish, I guess. I don't think we're finding the temple in this area, so... But for next week, I'm going to have a look around and find it. Uh, I'm going to avoid fighting any new bosses or anything like that. Do some nice builds, like a wizard tower, things like that. I guess I won't be doing the frost moon or the pumpkin moon, which makes me a little sad because I want that snowman cannon launcher. Are that the homing rockets? But we'll do that next time on stream. And maybe I'll farm Plantera to get that minion summoned back. Alright, let's see who's streaming Terraria. And failing that. Someone I'm following. We got uh, this person again. Seems good. Moonlord time. Hell yeah. Say no more. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that with Factorio. If you have any questions, by all means. And be kind to yourself and others. The hour is later than you think. See you next time, guys.